Sports Network. This is Mississippi State Bulldog Basketball. Bulldog Basketball is brought to you by C Spire, customer inspired, and by Cadence Bank, helping opportunity take shape. Welcome to the Cadence Bank pregame show. This is the 2024 NCAA Tournament. Now to Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, here's the voice of the Bulldogs, Neil Price. Mississippi State is back in the NC2A tournament for a second straight season, marking the first time the Bulldogs have gone dancing in back-to-back -back seasons in 15 years. Today they'll square off against one of college basketball's blue blood programs where they battle Michigan State here in Charlotte. Hi there, Hale State. Thanks for joining Coach Richard Williams and me here at Spectrum Center, the home of the NBA Charlotte Hornets. Well, you're a guy who has led State to the NC2A tournament, led them as far as they've ever gone to the Final Four back in 1996. To get there in back-to-back -back years is easier said than done. How significant, given that it's been 15 years since State's done it back-to-back, -back, do you think this is for the program? Well, it's certainly a big step, uh, Neil, for the program. But anytime you make the NCAA tournament, that, I mean, that's big. And, and that's what the goal is for every team. When the season starts, the goal is make the NCAA tournament. Then when you get there, the goal is to win some games in the NCAA tournament. I mean, if you win one, let's win two. And let's win three. Let's win four. But it, it's certainly a big step uh, for Coach Jans and his staff to get this team back in the tournament uh, two years in a row. And, and playing against, as you said, one of the blue blood programs in the country, Michigan State, coached by Tom Izzo, Preseason ranked number four in the country. They only they didn't have it nearly the year they thought they were going to have. Finished ten and ten in their league. Uh, they lost some games late, just like we did. But always dangerous. Always dangerous. Anytime you play a Tom Izzo team and you get to the tournament, this part of the season they're going to be good. Well, and when you look at their backcourt, their backcourt has been exceptional this year. And the tandem of Walker and Hoggard probably going to be as good as any two guards Mississippi State's played all season. Well, they're really good. They're, their offense is guard-oriented, Neil. And, you know, when I think of Michigan State and watching them through the years, they, they try to get out and really run. If, if When they get it, when they secure a defensive rebound, they are going to fly down the court. They're really coming at you hard. And if their big guy, their center, doesn't get the defensive rebound, he's going to try to be the first one down the floor. They're going to try to throw it ahead to that center if he beats everybody down the floor. Now, once they don't score in transition, which obviously the way they try to play makes our transition defense imperative, but once they don't score in transition, then they're going to run some offense. You, you think about them being a fast-break team, they only average 58 shots a game, almost 59 a game. We average 58 a game. So the two teams really, really similar. The difference is I think Mississippi State's field goal percentage defense, in particular guarding three-pointers, is better than Michigan State. The other thing you have to be aware of with Michigan State, I think Mississippi State thrives on turnovers. They really create turnovers. Michigan State turns it over less than 10 times a game, Neil. They take care of the basketball. I thought Tom Izzo, the Michigan State coach, paid Chris Jans and company one of the best compliments maybe they could be paid at this time of year. When he was asked what he thought of when he saw Mississippi State on tape, he said, they remind me of an old-school Big Ten team. And you read that to mean what? Well, it means they think Mississippi State's a really physical team. Like, as Tom Izzo said, you're playing football on a, on a hardwood floor. Uh, I'm not sure Mississippi State is quite as physical as people think. I think Cameron Matthews is very physical. Jimmy Bell is physical. I think Deshaun Davis has physicality about him when he's up guarding the ball. Josh Hubbard can take hits because of his body. But the thing about Michigan State, I don't think they're nearly as physical as they have been in the past. They've always been a team, a big, strong, physical basketball team. I don't think that's what they are this year. Tom Izzo is one of the first coaches I ever followed that put four guys on the offensive glass. Yep. They send four to the offensive glass. And yet they've always been a tremendous offensive rebounding team, but yet this year they're not a very good offensive rebounding team. About 10 offensive rebounds a game is all they get. Okay, so all that said, does Mississippi State have an advantage inside today? If they don't double-team Tolu Smith, yes. If, if, and that's the first thing I look for when the game starts, is Tolu being doubled. If he's been doubled, then that's going to open up some things for Josh Hubbard, Deshaun Davis, Shaquille Moore, those guys. And also, depending on who they double with, if they double big on big, which a lot of people do, then that's going to free Cab Matthews up for that dive to the, to the rim. Uh, if, they, if they double with a smaller guy, then Tolu's got to figure out where the double team's coming from, 
who's open. But if they don't double-team Tolu, I think he has an advantage in the post. Today, it's Mississippi State and Michigan State to kick off the first round of the NC2A tournament. This is the Cadence Bank pregame show. Cadence Bank, your team, your Cadence. Over the next half hour, I'll get more thoughts from Coach Williams about the game and set the starting lineups for the Gabe Genovese was happening in college basketball. Up next, though, I'll visit with Chris Jans about getting back to the NC2A tournament and today's game against Michigan State. Glad to have you with us here in Charlotte. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. At Cadence Bank, we're here for all four quarters and overtime in your financial journey. Whether you're investing for the future, saving for a dream home, starting a business, or just needing to tackle life's financial challenges, we have the teammates, tools, and game plan to help you win. Experience a financial partner that comes in clutch. Visit CadenceBank.com to learn more. Cadence Bank, a proud sponsor of Mississippi State Athletics. Member of FDIC. It's prom season. From promposals to finding the perfect dress and choosing a stylish tux, teens all across our state are making big plans. That's why the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services and the Mississippi Highway Patrol are reminding students to have a safe and memorable prom by making smart choices behind the wheel. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and do buckle up. Your school, family, and friends want you to please return on Monday in the same condition you left. Your choices today impact your tomorrow. Hi, Alicia from C Spire here talking with Dave, who has four daughters. Well, Emma's now driving, Olivia's on social media, and Sophie and Sarah, well, they just got phones. That's why I'm excited to tell Dave about Connect and Protect from C Spire, a phone plan for kids and teens that lets Dave track location, manage screen time, and maybe, just maybe, relax. Connect and Protect, just $25 a month with AutoPay, only at C Spire. Customer inspired. Capable device required. See cspire.com for plan and promotion details. Great game days start with a winning tailgate. The kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. This is professional ball player and former Mississippi State Bulldog, Jake Mangum. When you're a part of a team, every player has to pull their weight and support one another. Farm Bureau does exactly that. Their team ensures I've got competitive rates and exceptional customer service to support them. If you aren't already on the team, it's time to join Farm Bureau. Visit favrates.com for great rates on home and auto insurance. Or find a local agent at msfbins.com. Farm Bureau Insurance. Go with the home team. Welcome back to the Cadence Bank pregame show. It's time to get head coach Chris Jans' thoughts on today's game. Alongside Coach Jans, here's the voice of the Bulldogs, Neil Price. It's the first round of the NC2A tournament today here in Charlotte as Mississippi State gets set to take on Michigan State in the 8 versus 9 matchup in the West in time for a pregame conversation with Chris Jans. So you're back in the tournament for a second consecutive year here at Mississippi State. That's something that hadn't been done since 2008-2009. As the guy who's leading the program, what's it mean for what you're trying to build and what you're trying to accomplish here? I just like hearing the lead. You know, it's the first round of the NCAA tournament. You know, it's like, okay, hey, it's time. It's time to play. Uh, certainly you get wrapped up in the preparation like every other coach and staff does. We're no different. And, um, you know, it's tunnel vision right now, like it is every game in terms of just trying to, you know, look under every rock and, and try to get to know this opponent like we always do and put our players in position and don't really think about, you know, the big picture all that much. There'll be plenty of time to reflect when the season's complete. So when you look at how your guys have prepared for this, I mean, obviously you've been in postseason mode now for a while when you think about the start of the SEC tournament. Are you happy with what your guys are doing, the way they're focusing, the way they're trying to get ready for these opportunities now? I have been uh, for certain since um, the three games we played in Nashville. I thought our guys were really good in terms of uh, being scout prepared and getting it into the game for the most part. Now, sitting here this morning with you, it's an 
another early morning, and uh, I'll be honest with you, at this point, I wish we had more time. I, I wish we could uh, have a do-over and, and have another walk-through in the ballroom, and, uh, but fortunately, that's kind of, you know, how I feel, so I shouldn't get too worried about it. That's usually how I feel as we get ready to play that, you know, we're not quite ready. I think you guys have had a good edge to them, though, going back to the start of the SEC tournament. That's not to say they didn't at the end of the regular season against a really tough finishing schedule, but do you see that, too? Does it feel like there's a different intensity and edge to this group than they had, say, maybe, I don't know, three weeks ago? You know, um, the Kentucky game, you know, took something out of us as much as I hate to admit it. You know, every game is one game, and you'd like to think you can pick yourself up off the mat uh, after any defeat and realize you got to, you know, get to the next uh, opponent, etc. But as I look back, um, you know, it, it hurt because we had played pretty well and we had a great crowd and we were 8-6 and six in the SEC and it was a pivotal game at home and, um, you know, and we didn't win the game. And, and it wasn't as much us losing the game as much as, you know, uh, Reed Shepard and Kentucky, um, you know, basically, you know, saying, hey, we're going to win this game. And they made more plays than, than we did. And, and it, it hurt us a little bit, you know. Um, but since that, you know, since we've, uh, you know, regrouped a little bit and then, you know, went to A&M and had the great comeback that fell short. And then obviously South Carolina losing the last one, uh, I was worried. But uh, fortunately, these kids uh, showed a ton of resilience to see as a group. Um, they showed, you know, a uh, mature uh, mental approach. Um, and we showed it, you know, in Nashville by playing, you know, a better and, and having a better performances and winning a couple games um, down there and um, you know we're playing the, the style and brand of basketball that uh, we've all wanted to play all year long well and I've got to think too having an old team you've got a bunch of guys who've been around the block several times on this team that helps when you're trying to get things turned around and it probably helps when you've got to turn turn things around quickly when you get in these settings doesn't it it does and um, I'm glad that we do and you know, I've tried to, to stay old, if you will, for uh, the majority of, of my career, and now it's become more commonplace because of the transfer portal, um, and I think it will even continue to be an older group um, each and every year for most teams, and so uh, it's it's not going to be as much of a luxury, uh, in my opinion, going forward because of which, what I just described. State will play another older team today in Michigan State. We'll talk about the Spartans with Coach when the Cadence Bank pregame show continues. This is Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Danica Patrick. Watching my nieces grow, play, and learn is amazing, but not every child gets to be carefree. One in six kids in the U.S. are hungry. This breaks my heart, and it's something that Feeding America is working to change. Each year, the Feeding America network of food banks rescues billions of pounds of good food that would have gone to waste and gives it to families in need. To help, visit feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. You took the first step and quit smoking, but even former smokers may still be at risk for lung cancer. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know about a new low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early. It takes only 60 seconds and could save your life. You took the first step, now take the next. Visit SaveByTheScan.org for a simple quiz to see if you're eligible and talk to your doctor about screening. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. with Chris Jans before the Bulldogs take on Michigan State today in the first round of the NC2A tournament. So 
What's this like for you? I mean, a blue blood program on the other sideline, guy who's been doing it for a long time, and Tom Izzo you get to match wits with. What was your thought when you saw this matchup? You know, I really didn't think much uh, when I saw their name. I was uh, just excited to see our name <laughs> and to watch our kids' reaction and to basically try to soak it all in and um, just try to grab as much as I could of, of that feeling of watching their exuberance. And uh, I, I joked with some people that um, the reaction this year was much better than last year. I'm not sure if, one, um, uh, they understood that it was time to let it out, or two, you know, they weren't quite as sure we were going to get in uh, last year as we were this year. But uh, we were de definitely better uh, at, uh, at the reaction to seeing your name uh, flash across the screen on Selection Sunday. And then, obviously, when things settled down, then it hit me that, hey, we're, we're playing Michigan State. And for growing up in the Midwest, uh, like I did, and in Big Ten country, and, you know, that was probably the league that I followed the most uh, as a kid and um, coached. Izzo and Coach Ethcote were, were two guys that, uh, you know, I've always watched and respected. And, um, you know, now to be able to go out there and, and compete against, uh, you know, one of the best coaches uh, currently in our in our game. And, you know, he's been to the NCAA tournament 25 or 26 consecutive years, which just is crazy to think about. Um, and then certainly, you know, he's a Hall of Fame coach. But at the end of the day, the, the best thing is that, you know, it's not going to have as much to do with a, a him or me uh, once they tip the ball and our kids are going to go out there and try to play better than theirs. Okay, so you've watched a ton of film on these guys. Tell me what stands out as you've watched them. Yeah, I mean, since the first time I opened the laptop um, till now, I've just been so impressed with um, how they attack. You know, that's they've really uh, redeveloped um, their, their program and changed their identity a little bit. Uh, that's not what they were known for, and I don't follow them, you know, closely now at all. I don't watch them during the season. You're caught up with your own team in scout mode, but um, they, they push the ball is harder, harder than anybody we played all year long. Uh, make, miss, turnovers. They are trying to score early, and their wings and bigs run really, really hard, and their heads are always up with the ball, and they're spraying up the court in their attack mode, and they get great looks. 20% uh, of their baskets uh, are der uh, straight derivative of uh, pushing the basketball, so that's a lot of points or top 10 in the country when it comes to that, so that's the biggest issue that we're trying to figure out is, you know, just not celebrating on a score of our own uh, not relaxing uh, if we turn the ball over or take a bad shot or miss a shot you know we immediately got to turn our helmets to the defensive side of the basketball and try to get five guys back and and, and, and and just slow them down a little bit it's really easy to say and it's really easy to talk about but it's a whole nother matter when you know that's what they do every single day of their practices i'm sure and obviously the games uh, it's a big advantage that they have and then the other thing that they're just so well schooled when it comes to fundamentals they don't turn the ball over uh, they dribble pass shoot catch at a high level they're old school that way they set up screens they read screens where you don't see a lot of that in most teams anymore with the spread ball screens and the dribble drive stuff that's become much more vogue and so um, you know there's a lot of respect you know that we have for them to, to see how they play and, um, and we'll have to try to do our best against it where do you think you have an advantage in the game where can you hurt them today well, we hope to, you know, play inside out, which is a mantra that, you know, we've used a lot since we've arrived. And, you know, on paper, and, and paper is not much, um, and I've told our team this, you know, on paper, you know, over the course of, you know, 33, 34 games, um, we're the better rebounding team. And, and it's hard to say that because that's kind of what they're known for. But in reality, that's that's what it says, both in non-conference and in our respective leagues. And I said, and we have to win that battle. That has to be something that we can hang our hats on. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of let the um, I let every I let the team know, you know, where we stood in the SEC this year. We were second in offensive rebounds. We were fourth in defensive rebounds. And you know, even though I'm always asking for more, you guys actually finished up in, in, in really good in those categories. And we're better than them on paper. And but we got to get it into the game. That's got to be an advantage for us. As much as we're talking about taking away some of their transition baskets, they're talking about taking away some of our second chance opportunities. And, you know, that'll be the game within the game. Good luck. Appreciate it. Hell State. That's Chris Jans at State and Michigan State today here in Charlotte. The Cadence Bank pregame show will continue in a moment. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. We're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? 
case, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Champions never give in. That's why Cadence Bank is the teammate to help you get the extra yardage you need to secure victory in your financial journey. Whether you're saving for a dream home, starting a business, or just need to tackle everyday life, we have the teammates, tools, and strategy to help you stay in the game. Dreams are in reach for those who never give up. Visit CadenceBank.com to learn more. That's CadenceBank.com. Your team, your cadence. Cadence Bank. Member FDIC. Hey y'all, I'm Steve Azar inviting you to escape to Pearl River Resort where the fun is going non-stop. Go off the deep end at the South's most exciting water park, Geyser Falls. After the thrills, test your skills at the Dancing Rabbit Golf Club. There's dining delight and love at first sight. And it's always no work and all play at Silver Star and Golden Moon Casinos. So come on, leave it all behind and head to Pearl River Resort. Chevron with Tecron has unbeatable engine cleaning power, and it gives you unbeatable mileage for all kinds of unbeatable destinations, like time in the sun at the beach, or time in the sun riding roller coasters, or a day in the sun hiking mountains. Well, probably just one mountain would be enough for a day, but hiking a mountain is still an unbeatable choice for how to spend time. Download the Chevron app now to get unbeatable mileage at locations near you. Welcome back to the Cadence Bank pregame show. Time to find out what's happening in the SEC and around the nation. Inside the Learfield Network Studios, here's Gabe Genovese. Welcome back to our Cadence Bank pregame show. Mississippi State and Michigan State. The first round of the NCAA tournament in Charlotte, North Carolina. Not only the first game of the day in Charlotte, the first game of the day of this 2024 NCAA tournament. Gabe Genovese back with you in our Learfield Network studios. Bulldogs coming off the SEC semifinal appearance last week, including a win over regular season champ Tennessee over in Nashville last week. Spartans, meanwhile, finished their season 18 and 13, 10 and 10 in Big Ten play before falling to Purdue in the Big Ten quarterfinal. Bulldogs and Spartans again the first game of the day in Charlotte. Let's take a look at this region, the West region of this NCAA tournament bracket. Mississippi State and Michigan State get the winner of North Carolina and Howard. That game to follow this one, North Carolina head coach Hubert Davis talked about how they, Wagner, excuse me, not Howard, Wagner deserves their full attention. You know, just for their conference tournament to get to the NCAA tournament, they had to win three games on the road. I mean, that's real to be able to do that and then to beat a very good Howard team on a neutral site. Um, it's a team that is very confident, a team that can really shoot. They're outstanding defensively. They're excited about the opportunity about playing us and it doesn't matter what conference, where you come from. If you're a part of this tournament, you've experienced success at some stage, at some way throughout the season, which allows you to be successful. And Wagner has our full attention because they are deserving of having our full attention. And we're excited about the challenge of playing a really good Wagner team. Again, that was North Carolina head coach Hubert Davis on facing Wagner. Wagner beat Howard in the first four game in Dayton a couple of days ago to get to that spot. Mississippi State or Michigan State gets the winner of that game later today. Again, it's Mississippi State and Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Canes Bank pregame show continues next. You're listening to Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. My simple solution to their problem was remove people from the scene and help them feel safer. In response to attacks against Asian Americans, Maddie Park raised over $250,000 to donate cab rides to the Asian community. There is so much more work to be done. We really need to come together and tackle this issue as a community. Support the Asian community. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. Put your phone on D and D. That means that do not disturb when you're driving and when you're going from point A to B. I need you to stay safe, please. So always sing with me. So put your phone on D and D. That means that do not disturb when you're driving and when you're going from point A to B. I need you to stay safe, please. So always remember this beat. 
Don't drive distracted. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Hey, son. How are you feeling? Um, uh, I'm fine, Pops. <sighs> What's on your mind? I just... I can't explain it. When your kid can't find the language, help them find the lyrics. Listen to the Sound It Out album and get tips and tools to start a conversation at SoundItOutTogether.org. Brought to you by Ad Council and Pivotal Ventures. Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real-life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. It's Mississippi State and Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA tournament to kick off today in Charlotte. Tip off starting lineups with Neil and Coach coming up next. Thanks for listening. Cadence Bank pregame show. Cadence Bank helping opportunity take shape. You're listening to Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. It's prom season. From prom proposals to finding the perfect dress and choosing a stylish tux, teens all across our state are making big plans. That's why the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services and the Mississippi Highway Patrol are reminding students to have a safe and memorable prom by making smart choices behind the wheel. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and do buckle up. Your school, family, and friends want you to please return on Monday in the same condition you left. Your choices today impact your tomorrow. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Hey, Bulldog fans, get ready to show your true maroon spirit with the latest and greatest in Mississippi State basketball gear. Visit the state-style retail store inside Humphrey Coliseum for the ultimate fan experience. From jerseys to hats and everything in between, we've got you covered. Elevate your game day style and cheer on the Bulldogs in true Mississippi State fashion. Can't make it to the game? Visit statestylestore.com today and gear up for game day with the official team store of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. C Spire team member Jerry here, and today I'm talking to Carl. I'm tired. I hardly get... You see, Carl suffers from spotty service, and it's frustrating because he has a hard time carrying on conversations. Would that be fair, Carl? Got to look at... That's why I'm excited to get Carl to try C Spire's blazing fast 5G network. Try this, Carl. Oh my goodness, I sound great! You're welcome, Carl. Right now, get the latest 5G phone on us. Only at C Spire. Customer inspired. See cspire.com for details. 5G not available everywhere. Capable device required. This is Mississippi State Basketball. Here comes Mississippi State. Here we go, here we go. Together on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Sky's in, and he'll take it himself. A thunder dunk. Have mercy. What a drive, and what a dunk by Matthew. Hail State. Right wing, Hubbard. Three, yes, sir. Ahead to Jeffrey. Flight zero. Clear for takeoff. And the crowd goes crazy. The Bulldogs are going to win. On the Bulldog Sports Network, this is Mississippi State Bulldog Basketball. Bulldog Basketball is brought to you by Texaco. Unbeatable fans deserve unbeatable mileage. Choose Texaco with Tecron. And by Pearl River Resort, your destination for casino thrills, family fun, and live entertainment. This is the 2024 NCAA Tournament. Now to Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, here's the voice of the Bulldog. Neil Price. For the first time since the 2008-2009 season, Mississippi State is dusting off its dancing shoes for the second straight year. The Bulldogs are back in the big dance. They're getting set to face a big-name opponent in the first round. 
It's Mississippi State and Michigan State in the eight versus nine matchup of the West region here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Glad to have you with us today. Let's look at the starting lineup for the teams. First for Michigan State, 19 and 14 on the year, 10 and 10 in the Big Ten, coached by veteran head coach Tom Izzo. In his 29th year, he's won over 700 games as the coach of the Spartans. Tyson Walker at a guard, 6'1", 185, grad student from Westbury, New York. Jaden Akins at a guard, 6'4", 190, junior from Farmington, Michigan. A.J. Hoggard at a guard, 6'4", 210, senior from Coatesville, Pennsylvania. Malik Hall at one forward, 6'8", 220, freshman from Aurora, Illinois. And Carson Cooper is the other frontline man, 6'11", 240, sophomore from Jackson, Michigan. Walker, the leading scorer at almost 19 a game. State will roll with the same group that's gotten it most of the way, especially the second half of the season. Up front, D.J. Jeffries, Tolu Smith, and Cam Matthews. And in the backcourt, Deshaun Davis and Josh Hubbard. We'll get you back out to Neil and Coach as soon as we can. Having some internet issues in Charlotte as Mississippi State and Michigan State get set to play in the first round of the NCAA tournament. We're going to take a bonus break right now. Again, hopefully get you back out to Neil and Coach as soon as we can. This is Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. Great game days start with a winning tailgate. The kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. Back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. It's State and Michigan State in the first round of the NCAA tournament in Charlotte to start the day. Again, trying to get you out to Neil and Coach as soon as we can, having internet issues in Charlotte over at the Spectrum Center. We'll keep you updated as much as we can. Michigan State hits the first shot of the game. It's 3 nothing Spartans. Little over a minute into this one as, again, we continue to work through some def technical difficulties over in Charlotte. Spartans with the ball, 3 nothing Michigan State, about a minute and 20 seconds seconds into this game. We're, again, we'll try to get you back out to Neil and Coach. We'll take another bonus break, and we'll be right back. This is Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regions, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. This is professional ball player and former Mississippi State Bulldog, Jake Mangum. I wouldn't be where I am today without the love and support of my family. It's critical to have people around you that are always on your team. The outstanding folks at Farm Bureau do just that with their competitive rates and exceptional customer service. Be a part of the team that rallies around you. It's time to join Farm Bureau. Visit favrates.com for great rates on home and auto insurance. Or find a local agent at msfbins.com. Farm Bureau Insurance. Go with the home team. C Spire team member Jerry here, and today I'm talking to Carl. I'm tired. I hardly get... You see, Carl suffers from spotty service, and it's frustrating because he has a hard time carrying on conversations. Would that be fair, Carl? Got to look at... That's why I'm excited to get Carl to try C Spire's blazing fast 5G network. Try this, Carl. Oh my goodness, I sound great! You're welcome, Carl. 
Right now, get the latest 5G phone on us. Only at C Spire. Customer inspired. See cspire.com for details. 5G not available everywhere. Capable device required. This is professional ball player and former Mississippi State Bulldog, Jake Mangum. When you're a part of a team, every player has to pull their weight and support one another. Farm Bureau does exactly that. Their team ensures I've got competitive rates and exceptional customer service to support them. If you aren't already on the team, it's time to join Farm Bureau. Visit favrates.com for great rates on home and auto insurance. Or find a local agent at msfbins.com. Farm Bureau Insurance. Go with the home team. Michigan State 5, Mississippi State 4, our score three minutes in to this NCAA tournament first round. We're trying to get you back out to Neil and Coach as we deal with internet issues at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte. Again, we'll take one more break. Hopefully get you back out to Neil here soon. You're listening to Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. <laughs> Bank, we're here for all four quarters and overtime in your financial journey. Whether you're investing for the future, saving for a dream home, starting a business, or just needing to tackle life's financial challenges, we have the teammates, tools, and game plan to help you win. Experience a financial partner that comes in clutch. Visit CadenceBank.com to learn more. Cadence Bank, a proud sponsor of Mississippi State Athletics. Member FDIC. Back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regions, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. This is Neil Price from Courtside Spectrum Center in Charlotte. We apologize for the technical difficulties, but we've had internet failure on press row and some degree of power failure as well. And all of us here have been trying to figure out how to get internet connectivity back, not only us in radio, but also the print media who are here as well. We've just reached the first media timeout, 1552 left in the first half, Michigan State leading Mississippi State. 8-4 to four in this 8-versus-9 matchup here in Charlotte. It'll just be me until we can get some problems rectified, and I apologize for that. We've gone back to the old-school way of doing things. Just hold the telephone right now to make sure that we can get the game to you. But the Bulldogs trail here early 8-4 to four with 15-52 to play in the first half, and they've just reached the first media timeout. So we'll keep it right here. And we'll get games. We'll get the game restarted for you in just a bit. Show your bulldog pride with the Mississippi State University Regents Visa debit card and prepaid Regents Now card. As passionate as you are about the Bulldogs, Regents is even more passionate about celebrating your every financial win and helping you plan for the next one. Order now at Regents.com/go-state. Bulldogs in the early going are shooting. 50%, two out of four, but State's had three early turnovers in this game. Those three turnovers have already led to five Michigan State points, and that's something Chris Jans talked about in the pregame show. Transition defense. They couldn't turn it over, couldn't allow Michigan State to gain an advantage on the glass because if the Spartans did, they played downhill, Coach Jan said, as well as any team in America. And Already you're starting to see that show up with those three turnovers for State, turning into five quick Michigan State points. Four of State's points have come from Deshaun Davis, the graduate guard who is playing in his final season with the Bulldogs. Deshaun has been playing well down the stretch, double-figure points in three straight games to start March from March 6th through March 14th. But in the last two games of the SEC tournament, just 11 total points. So hopefully 
he can find a way to get it going again today. Show your Bulldog pride with Mississippi State University Regents. Speeds the debit card and prepaid Regents now card. As passionate as you are about the Bulldogs, Regents is even more passionate about celebrating your every financial win and helping you plan for the next one. Order now at Regents.com slash go state. Bulldogs in gray today with maroon letters and numbers. They've got state script on the front. Michigan State in green is the lower seed with white letters and numbers, Spartans in block letters across the chest. Michigan State's ball moving left to right as we view it courtside here at Spectrum Center. Out front for the Spartans is A.J. Hogger, part of a really dynamic scoring duo in the backcourt for Tom Izzo's team. Swings it into the corner right side for Tyson Walker. Back out top to Hogger. Drives to the foul line. Pitches back Walker. Three at the top. Horseshoes off the right edge. And the rebound tipped out of bounds underneath by Michigan State. It will be Mississippi State's ball with 15-31 left in the first half. And the Spartans in front, 8-4. to four. Keyshawn Murphy in for State that starts the game today but came in at the first media break. He's out there with Josh Hubbard, Tolu Smith, Shaquille Moore, who is a North Carolina native from Greensboro, about 100 miles away, and D.J. Jeffries. Jeffries on the left wing for State, looking underneath for Tolu Smith, out front, throws it away. Stolen by Walker, driving in on Hubbard, doesn't have a shot, finds Walker down the lane for a left-hand lay-in. So Michigan State, again, off a turnover, converts. They've got seven of their ten points off state turnovers early in this one. Murphy for the Bulldogs, attacking the hoop to our left. And Tolu Smith at the top, pounding the left-hand dribble. Hands to Hubbard behind the ball screen. Turns down the left lane line. Circles out in the corner. And now gets it to D.J. Jeffries between the rings. Jeffries working out top against A.J. Hoggard. Takes him off the bounce. Spins to his right at the foul line. Fades for a 15-footer and knocks it down. D.J. Jeffries pulls State back to within four. 10-6. Michigan State in front. 14.37 to go on this ticking first half clock. Out top for the Spartans in green, it's A.J. Hoggard. Xavier Booker at the top, he throws it left side, intercepted by Hubbard for State. He'll drive to the other end for a right-hand lay-in. So the Bulldogs convert a Michigan State turnover into two, and State's back within a bucket at 10-8. to Holloman with it out front for Michigan State. Trey Holloman is their backup point guard, averages three assists a game. To Walker, foul line extended left into the corner. Booker launches a three off the heel, no good. And the rebound to Josh Hubbard for the Bulldogs. Hubbard jogs it through the jump circle into the offensive end. Leaves it with Moore on the left wing. Working against Tyson Walker at the top of the Michigan State 2-3 zone. To Hubbard, deep right of the circle. Retreats above the 28-foot line. Now all the way out to the time stripe. The shot clock down to 10. Hubbard crossing over. Pounding that right-hand dribble. Goes right off the screen from Tolu Smith. Into the right corner. Jeffries catch and shoot three. No good. And the rebound taken by Sissoko for Michigan State. Sends it up the left side into front court to Hogger. Hogger drives baseline against Shaquille Moore, turns underneath, drops it across to Sissoko, and he dunks it with two hands. Michigan State goes back up four, 13-25 to play in the first half. Moore brings it across the timeline for Mississippi State. Dribbles between the legs, working against Tyson Walker. Spins to his right, lost his footing, and the ball gets it back to the 28-foot line. Sliding left to right across the top of the arc. Gets inside the three-point line. Finds Murphy straight away. He'll pull the trigger, and that one horseshoes off the right edge. And the rebound one underneath by Maddie Sissoko for Michigan State. To A.J. Hoggard up to Holloman, right wing. Back to Hoggard at the top. In the corner right side, that one's knocked in for a three. Out of the corner, Tyson Walker able to knock it down from distance. Grabbed his right ankle as he went to the deck, but back up and headed the other way for Michigan State. 15-8 to Spartans by seven. Jeffrey's left wing to Moore in the corner along the baseline left side to Tolu Smith back out to Moore one bounce with the right hand back inside to Tolu backing down against Matty Sissoko squares up but doesn't have a shot shot clock down to 10 Jeffrey's high and wide left side now attacking out front against Hogger drives in lost the ball still loose left of the lane and picked up by Michigan State Hogger throws ahead to Walker transition three right of the circle is good for Walker and Chris Jans has to take a timeout Michigan State taking advantage of Mississippi State turnovers early. It's an 18 to 8 lead for the Spartans, and DJ Jeffries comes up hobbled for State after losing his footing and the ball just a few moments ago before that transition basket for the Spartans. A timeout with 12-14 left in the first half. 18 to 8. Michigan State leads Mississippi State. We'll take the timeout too. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. 
Great game days start with a winning tailgate, the kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. When you live in SEC country, you feel it everywhere you go. The traditions and rivalries surround you. As much as you celebrate the game, Regions celebrates your financial wins even more. And like SEC fans, we'll never quit. Because in an SEC world, we're the SEC Bank. Regions, official bank of the SEC. Member FDIC. Are you looking for an HVAC company that cares more? Look no further than AirSouth Cooling and Heating. We offer 0% financing on new cooling and heating systems, whole house power generators, and water heaters. Benefit from our free consultations, 24-7, 365 emergency service, and a free service call with the repair of your system backed by our satisfaction guarantee. Call AirSouth Cooling and Heating today at 601-909-0881. AirSouth Cooling and Heating. We care more. Offer subject to credit approval. See AirSouthNow.com for full details. Twelve fourteen left in the first half. We are back up and running on the internet <laughs> for the time being here in Charlotte, and we appreciate your patience. And the greatest thing about being back on the internet is Coach Williams has been watching everything that has happened to this point, and now you can finally hear him get to comment on it. I talked about turnovers when folks were listening on the phone a moment ago, but it's been a big stat in this game so far, hasn't it, Coach Williams? Well, Bulldogs have five turnovers, Neil. Uh, Michigan State has ten points off those turnovers. The Bulldogs aren't shooting the ball very well. Michigan State's shooting it really well, Neil. Seven out of ten. And, and they're getting good shots. That's the thing about it. State's having a a lot of problems against Michigan State defense because they're spending too much time dribbling, not enough time passing the ball. Michigan State, you watch them on offense, the ball moves. It really moves from one side of the court to the other, and that opens up their shooters. Bulldogs got to get on offense, got to execute better on offense. The transition hasn't hurt them too bad except in the live ball turnovers. Yeah, and you and I talked about it. Michigan State takes really good care of the ball, but if they're able to get turnovers, if they're able to get defensive rebounds, they go downhill in a hurry, and they're showing us that today. Well, they're, they're really a fast basketball team. I mean, they sprint. I mean, whether they're fast or not, they run hard. You know, sometimes a guy doesn't have to be fast. He just runs really hard yep. from one end to the other, and they run hard from one end of the floor to the other. All right, so it's Mississippi State's ball out of the timeout. The Bulldogs will bring it 94 feet to left. The John Davis, Keyshawn Murphy, Jimmy Bell Jr. in for the first time, Shaquille Moore and Rams Davis for State, trailing by 10. In the right corner, it's Murphy, working on the back line of his own against Malik Hall. Back out front now to Rams Davis between the circles, drives to the top of that zone, falling down, finds Murphy in the right corner, eight to shoot. Up to Bell, right wing, to Rams Davis at the top, down the left lane line, in the left corner for Sean Jones, back up to Davis, he fires a three at the buzzer, off the heel, no good, and the rebound secured by Jaden Aikens for Michigan State. 11.39 and counting first half, Michigan State with the ball to 10 point lead, 18 to eight. Malik Hall out front, hands it off for Trey Holloman from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Spartans go into a three-man weave at the top. Lines up with Holloman again out near the time stripe. Bell hedges, trying to keep him on the left side of the floor. To Malik Hall, left wing against Keyshawn Murphy. Between the legs at the free throw line. Five to shoot. Line drive shot. A 15-footer goes. And Michigan State stretches the lead to 12. Murphy looked like he had pretty good defense. There. Good defense, but he just jumped up. And, just, and you said it was a line drive shot. That was as flat as I've ever seen. It went right in. State with the ball trailing by 12, 20 to 8. Another slow start for the Bulldogs. Unfortunately, those have become characteristic of this state team, or at least they were at the end of the regular season. Sean Jones right way. Drives to the free throw line, bounces it down low to a cutting more. His reverse right hand lay and missed everything. And Michigan State's got the rebound. Trey Holloway kicks left wing. Aikens fires a transition three off the heel no. And the defense or offensive board taken inside by Kohler. Jackson Kohler off the bench at 6'9", 245, one of the bigs for Michigan State. Shot clock down to 10 on the drive to the free throw line. Here are the Spartans. They get it right wing to Aikens. Back out top now to Trey Holloman. Holloman waiting for a screen. Gets one with two to shoot. Fires a 28-foot three left side. That did not draw iron. Hit the glass and bounced off. 
Penn State will get it on a shot clock violation with 10.20 to play in the first half, trailing by 12, 20 to 8. Brings us to a timeout. 10.20 to play in the first half. We get extra timeouts in the NC2A tournament. Five in each half. We'll take this one. 10.20 to play in the first half. Michigan State 20, Mississippi State 8. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Tom has been a teacher for over 40 years. One day, I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. I was really starting to worry. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council. Victor deployed for the first time to Afghanistan in 2003. He sustained a moderate traumatic brain injury. One of the most important elements of caregiving is taking care of yourself. For many military veteran caregivers, their caregiving journey starts earlier in life and lasts longer. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for a free military veteran's guide to navigate your caregiving journey and better care for your loved one and yourself. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Don't you wish your life came with a warning app? Stop. That dog does not want to be petted. <laughs> a heads up before something bad happens. You should not send that text. Uh-oh. Life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but prediabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can reverse prediabetes and prevent or delay type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihadprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its prediabetes awareness partners. Ten twenty left in this first half. It's Michigan State leading Mississippi State twenty to eight here at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. Glad to have you with us for this first round NC two A tournament game. We all know traveling on the court's a bad idea, but off the court you can trust your car to the star when you travel with Texaco because Texaco with Tecron gives you unbeatable mileage for all your adventures. Fuel up with Texaco with. All right, so Coach Williams, Michigan State's defense looks like it's very good. It's forcing State to shoot late in the clock, not giving up a lot of second opportunities. And then at the other end, they're able to convert those turnovers into points. That feels like the difference right now. Am I close to that? Seems to me like you are, Neil. Seems like you're right on it. I've been juggling a couple balls over here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you are right on it. But the, the, the Michigan State defense is a little bit better than I anticipated, to be honest with you. I mean, they're really moving their feet. But again, it's called, the Bulldogs don't have a lot of ball movement right now. And Michigan State's ball movement on the other end has been really good, Neil. And they do get out and run. They fly down there. They have eight fast break points already. But here's one of the keys to me. Michigan State has six players that have scored already in this game. Yeah. Mississippi State has three players that have scored. Deshaun Davis has four. Uh, DJ has two. Josh has two. And DJ came out of the game early. It looked like he was uh, hurt again. All right. So Deshaun Davis brings it right to left for State here, trailing by 12. Gets it to Hubbard in the left corner. Hubbard got bumped off his sticks. The back of that defense. Holloman trying to close out on Josh just inside the arc. Knocked him out of knocked him off balance. And State's going to get it back with 20 to shoot. 10.09 to play in this first half. Foul is on Jones. First. Or excuse me, it's on Holloman, his first. And on Michigan State, that's number two in the half. State gets it into Jimmy Bell, trying to back his way in against the smaller Jackson Kohler. Kicks it out to Jones, open three right of the circle. That one's short, and Holloman with the rebound for Michigan State. No seconds again for the Bulldogs here. 9.55 to play in the half. 20-8, to eight. Michigan State leads it by 12. They attack the hoop to our right in this first half. Malik Hall just inside the three-point line against Matthews, right of the circle. Hands it off out front to Akins, back to Hall, left wing, keeps the dribble alive with the left hand against the smaller to Sean Davis, to Kohler at the foul line, open for a 15-footer, no, gets the offensive board, turns to his right against Jimmy Bell, stripped out of his hands by Sean Jones, but the Spartans get it back. Holloman at the top, down the left lane line, lobs for Carr, that one went through his hands, two Spartans go down, State gets the rebound and they have a man advantage. Jones into the paint, kicks left corner Hubbard for three, bingo! Josh Hubbard with a big tray for the Bulldogs, and State's back within 9-20 to 11 with 9-10 to play in the first half. Holloman out front for Michigan State. 
Kicks it to the right wing for Akins. Down low to Kohler and a double team on the low block right. Dribbles out to the wing to Holloman. Threw it back door looking for the lob again to Cohen Carr and throws it behind him and out of bounds. So Mississippi State gets it on another Michigan State turnover. And with nine minutes left in the half, Bulldogs have a chance to try and whittle away at what is currently a nine-point Michigan State advantage. Well, Cohen Carr must be a big-time jumper because they've tried to lob to him twice in a row and thrown it out of bounds. Michigan State folks say he's a real athlete, and he is a candidate for lobs, believe it or not. They've tried it twice. Matthews with it for Mississippi State. Into the right corner to Sean Jones. Back out top to Josh Hubbard. Deep right rear. Squares the court. Looking inside for Jimmy Bell. Fronted by Kohler. Pulls up for a contested 18-footer and knocks it down. Josh has made back-to-back -back shots, and that was a tough one. He's pulled State to within 7, 20-13. to 13, Eight and a half to go in this first half. Jaden Aiken just above the 28-foot line for Michigan State. Driving left of the lane. They rotated around the arc, right to left to Hoggard. Tried to find Walker, and nice defense by Rams Davis. Jumped into the passing lane and bats it out of bounds into the press table to his right. So Michigan State will have a side out of bounds with 8.23 to play in the first half. And they'll get Carson Cooper back in. He was the starting center today, replacing Jackson Kohler. They play three different guys at that center spot. And you were talking to me about this yesterday, Coach Williams. Tom Izzo typically has had one or two bigs he can lean on. This year it looks like he's kind of been trying to find the right piece at the right time at that well, spot. Well, he's going to play three bigs. He already has. Auger gets the inbound between the circles to the top of the arc for the big man Cooper at 6'11". Around the hall, right wing goes between the legs on Cam Matthews. Attacks into the lane. Cam picks his pocket. A steal for Mississippi State. Matthews across the line against Hall. Bounces down low to Tolu Smith, and he'll jam it with two hands. First field goal attempt for Tolu. Bulldogs have scored six in a row. 20 to 15. State back within five as we move inside eight minutes for the first half. Hoggard for Michigan State down the left lane line, fouled on the drive, and Michigan State's going to get it back with 7.55 left. Fouls on Tolu Smith of Mississippi State, his first and the Bulldogs' third, and we have a timeout with 7.55 to play in this opening half here in Charlotte. To win in this league, you got to be tough. That's why true Bulldogs fans drive the Ford F-150. Visit your local Ford dealer today and find out why F-150 is the only truck tough enough to be the official truck of the Bulldogs. 7.55 left in the first, Michigan State 20, Mississippi State 15. This is, Missis this is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Hi, Alicia from C Spire here talking with Dave, who has four daughters. Well, Emma's now driving, Olivia's on social media, and Sophie and Sarah, well, they just got phones. That's why I'm excited to tell Dave about Connect and Protect from C Spire, a phone plan for kids and teens that lets Dave track location, manage screen time, and maybe, just maybe, relax. Connect and Protect, just $25 a month with AutoPay, only at C Spire. Customer inspired. Capable device required. See cspire.com for plan and promotion details. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. Hi, Jan. My kids are really excited about spring break, so I'm looking for a new Toyota to help make it amazing. Well, now until April 1st is the perfect time for an exciting new Toyota. Just imagine you and the kids in a tundra on your way to the lake to go speed boating. Or imagine taking a Grand Highlander to the mountains for some spring skiing. Hi, or maybe driving a Camry to a towering water slide. Ah, I'm doing it! Or even taking a RAV4. Oh, to an animal sanctuary to pick goats. <laughs> ah! Hmm, sounds like your kids aren't the only ones excited about spring break. Oh, what makes you think that? Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 36 months on a rugged new 2024 Tundra. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Offer ends April 1st and is available in select states. Toyota, let's go places. Now we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Seven fifty-five left in the first half. Michigan State leads Mississippi State twenty to fifteen here in Charlotte. 
Bulldogs on a 7-0 run over the last 90 seconds. And Coach Williams, their defense starting to help them climb back into this thing a little bit. Well, defense has been better. They're uh, creating turnovers by Michigan State. Michigan State averages, we talked about, less than 10 turnovers a game, Neil. Bulldogs have already turned them over seven times, and they've narrowed that gap. Actually, Bulldogs are ahead 11 to 10 in points off turnovers now. Yeah, and Michigan State got the early edge in that category to build their lead. Spartans have a baseline out of bounds as play resumes, attacking the hoop to our right. Hoggard with it now. Retreats out toward the timeline. DJ Jeffries trying to force it back over the left side of the floor. Good to see DJ back out there after he was banged up. Hoggard down the right lane line, a jump stop, and he lost his pivot foot. And State's going to get it back off another Michigan State turnover. That's their fifth inside the last four minutes. Yeah, State's defense has picked up now. I think it took the Bulldogs just a little bit of time to adjust to the play of Michigan State. So it's State's ball moving right to left as we view it courtside here at Spectrum Center in Charlotte. Hubbard pull up three at the top, absorb some contact. That one missed wide to the right. There was no whistle, and Michigan State gets the rebound. Hogger to Cooper, the five man at the top, hands off to Walker right way. Cooper stays out top here, lifting Tolu Smith out above the free throw line. Dribbles across the key right to left. Now he's used his dribble. Bounces it out deep left side to Akins, and he'll get it back to Walker, who squares the floor with 10 to shoot. Walker sliding right, picked up by Cam Matthews on the right side of the three-point line. Goes back to the top, dribbling to his left at the 28-foot line. Now Tolu's got him, the five-man contest of three. That one was halfway down and out, and Jeffries gets the rebound for Mississippi State. Ahead to Hubbard, jogging up the right side. Cross court to Jeffries, deep left rear, looking underneath for Tolu. 6.46 and counting, first half. Mississippi State trails by five. They try to bounce to Tolu, high block, right hall, jumps in front, steals it for Michigan State. Gets it ahead to Hoggard down the right lane line. Out to Walker, right wing to Akins in the corner, three right side, no. Hoggard had the rebound and lost it. Hubbard tipped it away. Akins picks it up, 10-footer on the baseline, goes for Akins. Well, that's just bad luck that time by the Bulldog. They missed a the shot, got tipped around, and it just went right back to Aikens' hand. He wide open. Breaks a 7-0 run for Mississippi State. 22-15, a seven-point lead for Michigan State with 6-15 to play in the first half. Deshaun Davis for Mississippi State at the top. Takes a handoff from Matthews. Turns to the elbow, right side. Now backs out top of the arc. Hands to Hubbard, looking to shoot, but a good closeout by Akins. To Smith, just above the free throw line. Tolu turns down the right lane line, spinning to his left inside. The left-hand runner did not draw iron, I don't think, and it goes out of bounds back to Michigan State. Shot clock was winding down. Tolu had to make something happen and came up short on that one. Well, Michigan State bigs are really forcing Tolu into some tough shots, some tough catches. 5.48 to play first half. Michigan State with the ball in a seven-point. High and wide on the left for the Spartans. It's A.J. Hoggard. Angling left off a of Carson Cooper screen. Turns back down the right lane line. Has a clear path to the rim and will lay it in with the right hand. 24-15 Michigan State. Five and a half to play in this first half. Davis out top for the Bulldogs. In gray attacking the hoop to our right. Pitches right corner Jeffries. He'll launch a three and that one finds the bottom of the net. DJ is struggling right now, Neil. He's played as hard as he can, but you can tell he's hurting. He's still limping. He's two for his first three shooting today. Five points, but again, got knocked down. Trying to pick up a loose ball earlier in the half. State in a 2-3 zone. Walker with it, right wing for Michigan State. They look a little bit confused here with the shot clock down to 10 as we move inside five minutes. To Hall at the top, left wing to A.J. Hoggard. Hoggard retreats above the 28-foot line against Rams. Davis gets a high screen, drives to the foul line, extended, kicks left corner, catch and shoot three for Aikens is on target. Matthews battling for the rebound, can't win it. Malik Hall takes it away from Michigan State. Bounces to Hoggard at the top. Hubbard guards him, goes around a screen from Cooper, the center, gets to the foul line, pitches in the right corner, a pump fake for Hall, drives baseline, kicks left corner, Aikens, his three is short. Matthews grabs the rebound, and he gets fouled by Malik Hall at the free throw line. And Mississippi State will get the ball back with 4.04 left in the half, trailing 27-18 to against Michigan State here in the first round of the NCAA tournament. You know, Neil, Mississippi State's 8 of 18 with the 444 percent. They've missed 10 field goal attempts. They have zero offensive rebounds. And that's one of the strengths of the Mississippi State team, going to that offensive glass, getting second shot opportunities. Michigan State's do an excellent job not letting Mississippi State get to the offensive glass. Malik Hall picks up the foul for Michigan State, his first. That's the third on the Spartans. 404 to play in the first half, 27-18, Michigan State in front. Bulldogs have not led in this game. As Davis brings it right to left for Chris Jan's team. Works at the top, 
Pitch is left wing to Shaquille Moore. Moore looking inside for Jimmy Bell, who checked in for Tolu Smith. Shaq drives to the logo in the lane, kicks right wing Davis, catch and shoot three off the left edge. No, Bell battling with Sissoko for the rebound, and Jimmy Bell will draw a foul. Matty Sissoko comes across his back. His first, Michigan State's fourth, and we've reached the final media timeout of this first half. 3.44 to play in the opening 20 minutes. Michigan State 27, Mississippi State 18. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> And now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. <laughs> hey, so what's a great way to spread awareness that driving high is illegal everywhere? A catchy song, of course. You can run, or you can't drive high. You can run, or you can't drive high. Friendly reminder, don't drive high. If you feel different, you drive different. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those round trips, which are perfect on your way there and perfect on your way back? Or those meetings with friends, surprise parties, camps, birthdays. The same way you plan for the important moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Get started at ready.gov slash plan. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. left in the first half. Michigan State leads Mississippi State 27 to 18 here at Spectrum Center in downtown Charlotte. Glad to have you with us today. State shooting 48 that is eight of a 58 turned it over six times in this first half. Now the game, but they've been able to rein that in a little bit. Eight turnover, two more have been. Able and that points off turnover battle so far. And no one lied to us when they wanted to play fast. And those really good guards, Walker and Hogger, they're big. Yeah. They are. They just fly down the floor. Near the, and one thing I like about four too, they, yep. they just dribble it all the time up the floor. They'll pitch it up the floor to open guys. Their bigs run hard, and they run to the rim. And they look inside of the bigs. They don't get it in there much. But they make Mississippi State's guys really have to run back. All right, so out of the timeout, it'll be Mississippi State's ball. A baseline out of bounds for the Bulldogs. Underneath their basket, down to our left. They've got Davis, Bell, Murphy's back in, Jeffries, and Shaquille Moore. Comes in to Jimmy Bell, left of the lane. Working against Sissoko, who fouled him to take us to that timeout a moment ago. Loops it out to Murphy, deep left of the circle. Now around to Shaquille Moore, right wing. Back out top to Murph, fakes a three. He's working against Zayvang. At the top right wing to Jeffries. That three comes up as an air ball. Picked up by Bell. Tried to get it back to the rim, but couldn't. His shot was blocked. And a shot clock violation will give the ball back to Michigan State with 3.23 to play in the first half. And the Spartans leading the game 27-18. Well, so far, the Michigan State bigs are really doing a good job on Jimmy Bell and Tolu Smith, not letting him get anything. And we kind of thought State might have an advantage there today, but it hasn't shown up so far. Walker. Right wing for Michigan State. Into the corner left side to Aikens. A touch pass back up to the left wing to Trey Holloman. Back over to Tyson Walker. Grad, tra or grad transfer from Northeastern who's in his third year at Michigan State. Working against Rams. Davis at the top. Sliding right off the screen from Sissoko down the left lane line. Flips it up high off the window and scores. As soon as he saw the big switch off on him, Neil, he knew what he's doing. Keyshawn Murphy had to switch off on him. He went right to the rim, laid it up. That's a couple times they've had some success with that high screen to free a guard to go downhill to the rim for a lay-in. 240 to play in the first half. Murphy with it for State. He turns down the right lane line. Flips it up with the right hand against Booker. That one won't fall. And Michigan State with another defensive board. They throw it up the left side to Tyson Walker. 
leveled off by Rams Davis on that left wing. 29-18, Michigan State in front. 2.25 to play in this first half. Spartans have not trailed today. Holding out top, it's Holloman. Between the rings to Tyson Walker. Walker, left wing for Xavier Booker. Now to Walker at the top, drives to the free throw line. A 15-foot runner, bounces once on the heel, high off the window, no. Tap back up by Booker, no good. Booker gets the rebound again, but he's standing on the baseline and out of bounds. You know, Michigan State's one of those teams that we, like, we talked about all the time, score early or score late. Yep. They fly down the floor, but if they don't get anything, they don't force shots. Once they don't have it, now they're going to run their offense. They're going to take time. They're going to look for the open shooters. But State's defensive transition has been good now, keeping Michigan State from getting a lot of points in transition, and they make them set up and run their half-court offense. State making changes with Bell and Jeffries. And again, Jeffries a little hobbled today. He took a tumble earlier in this half and has been hobbled since. Rams Davis also exits. Hubbard is back along with Tolu Smith and Sean Jones. Smith at the top for Mississippi State. Hands to Hubbard there. Tried to get down the right lane line. Pitches right corner Murphy. Catch and shoot three. Too strong. Rebound goes through Tolu Smith's hands and picked up in the right corner by Hoggard for Michigan State. Here come the Spartans in a hurry. Into the left corner to Trey Holloman. Brings it out top against Shaquille Moore. 139 for the half. Michigan State leads 29 to 18. Sliding left off a high screen from Matty Sissoko. Gets into the lane. A right-hand floater from eight. No good. Rebounded by Sean Jones. State looking to run, but good defensive transition from Michigan State. Moore, 28 feet away, right side. Overhead pass to Murphy, left wing. Murphy puts it on the deck, turns into the lane, kicks it out right corner to Hubbard. A catch and shoot three on its way, and good, and a foul afterward on Mississippi State. So Hubbard knocks down the triple. That shot will count, and Tolu Smith will pick up his second foul trying to box out underneath. And Mississippi State's fourth in the half. But well, Hubbard's three-pointer was a result of Keyshawn Murphy penetrating into the paint. Keyshawn just drove it right into the middle, made the defenders come to him, left Josh wide open in that right corner. So it's an eight-point lead for Michigan State, 29-21. to 21. Trey Holloman exits for Michigan State. They also make a change on the front line with Cooper coming back in. A.J. Hoggard runs the point here as he angles left off a high screen from Cooper. Straddle the three-point line, left side. Now to Walker, out near the timeline. 15 to shoot, drives to the top, tried to throw it in the left corner for Hoggard, who had spotted, and a nice job by Shaquille Moore to get his right hand on it and bat it across the baseline. So a 57.4 left in the half. Michigan State gets the ball back for a baseline out of bounds, leading by eight. 13 to shoot. Comes into Hall, left side. Sean Jones did a nice job to contest that inbound pass. And it goes out of bounds off of Jones, who was trying his best to bang it back off of a Michigan State player in front of the Mississippi State bench. Spartans have a side out here. Hoggard to work it in right in front of the Bulldog bench. High and wide left side to Tyson Walker. Squares the floor. Goes left off a of Cooper screen. They get it into the corner. Right side for Malik Hall. Three to shoot. Left wing. Hoggard catch and shoot three. That one did not draw iron. And Mississippi State has forced a shot clock violation with 43 seconds left in the first half. Well, Michigan State hasn't attacked the Bulldog zone defense as well as they were attacking the man-to-man -man defense. Although they've had good ball movement and they've had a couple of good looks at it, they haven't been able to score as much against this, the State 2-3 zone. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised. Of course, Mississippi State hasn't been able to get into their 1-3, one, 1-half one court trap. They're not making enough shots. So I, I would guess second half, if they make some shots, they're going to get into that 2-2-1 two, two, one or the 1-3, one, 1-half one court. Hall exits for Michigan State, and they get bigger as they bring Sissoko back in to play on that front line with Cooper. Hubbard, catch and shoot three, left wing, bingo! Josh Hubbard trying his best to keep the Bulldogs in this one. He's got 13 of State's 24 in the first half. It's a five-point game, 29-24 Michigan State, with 20 seconds left in the opening period. A.J. Hoggard, 28 feet away on the right side, and he will take a timeout. Tom Izzo taking the use it or lose it here with 15.9 to play in this opening half, and Mississippi State looking for a strong finish to the first half. Back within five now, thanks to a 6-0 run in the last 45 seconds. Well, Josh Hubbard, we shouldn't be surprised he's got 13 points. This is a guy playing his first NC2A tournament, but he doesn't look phased by any of this atmosphere. <laughs> You know, we've talked about it all year long. I'm not sure if anything phases him when it comes to competing and playing a basketball game. He looks it looks like a veteran player. Nothing bothers him. Uh, the Bulldogs running sets to get him open. I think it's really good coaching by Chris Jazz because he sees that Josh is shooting the ball well. That last set they ran was to get him that three-point shot and it deep one, and he just buried it. 
So it'll be Michigan State's ball out of the timeout. Timer is off with 15.9 left in the half. Michigan State in front, 29 to 24 here in Charlotte. Very first game of the first round of the NC2A tournament. Neil, we're 31 sec, 15 seconds going this half, I guess, whatever it is. Yeah, 50 point, no free throws have been attempted by either team. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. And that would have been an advantage, you would think, for Mississippi State, too, because even though the Bulldogs don't shoot the same percentage as Michigan State, they only average 12 points a game at right. the foul line. State averages 15 and shoots a lot more, a of, lot more, a lot more volume than Michigan State. So that's been a factor, too. Hoggard, deep right side for Michigan State to haul at the foul line down the left lane line. He will bank it in at the buzzer, and that will end the first half here in Charlotte. Michigan State has not trailed through 20 minutes. They lead Mississippi State at the end of the first half, 31 to 24 here at Spectrum Center. Thoughts on what you saw in the opening 20 minutes? Well, I think both teams are competing hard, Neil. I think Mississippi State, it took them a few possessions to adjust to the hard play on the Michigan State defensive end. But Michigan State came out really playing hard on defensive end. They're not giving Tolu Smith in. They're forcing Tolu to catch the ball too far up the lane for him to try to make any kind of move to the basket. But now Mississippi State getting back in a little bit of a groove offensively, getting the ball to Josh Hubbard for open shots. Uh, I think Cam Matthews picking up two early fouls hurt us a little bit, obviously. He needs to be in the game for us. But I think the Bulldogs have adjusted quite well so far, and I think it's going to be a competitive second half if we can just keep them out of the paint. Uh, yeah. Michigan State, but just like that last shot by Hall, that was just a tough physical shot that he made. Uh, right there at the end of the shot clock. But their guards have been able to get downhill. I think Coach Jans talked about that. They're downhill players. They've been able to get downhill some against the Mississippi State defense, and I'm sure that will be addressed at halftime. 13 points for Hubbard to lead Mississippi State. 13 of the Bulldogs, 24. 10 for Walker, leading a very balanced effort for Michigan State. In the opening 20 minutes, the Spartans lead the Bulldogs by five at the break, 29 to 24 here in Charlotte. The Mississippi Ford Dealers Halftime Show is coming up next. This is Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. Great game days start with a winning tailgate. The kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. Unbeatable mileage from Chevron with Techron unlocks all kinds of unbeatable trips. Like to family dinner the next town over. Or to a family wedding the next, next town over. Or even to a family reunion over the river and through the woods at Grandma's house. Any drive is worth it to see Grandma. Especially when you can stop along the way for unbeatable cleaning power from Chevron with Techron. Your engine will be thanking you for making the trip. Download the Chevron app now and find unbeatable mileage near you. We're here for all four quarters and overtime in your financial journey. Whether you're investing for the future, saving for a dream home, starting a business, or just needing to tackle life's financial challenges, we have the teammates, tools, and game plan to help you win. Experience a financial partner that comes in clutch. Visit CadenceBank.com to learn more. Cadence Bank, a proud sponsor of Mississippi State Athletics. Member FDIC. Back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. It's prom season. From promposals to finding the perfect dress and choosing a stylish tux, teens all across our state are making big plans. That's why the Mississippi Department of Rehabilitation Services and the Mississippi Highway Patrol are reminding students to have a safe and memorable prom by making smart choices behind the wheel. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, and do buckle up. Your school, family, and friends want you to please return on Monday in the same condition you left. Your choices today impact your tomorrow. The 
Bulldogs Sports Network. This is Mississippi State Bulldogs Basketball. Bulldog Basketball is brought to you by Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance. Go with the home team. And by the Mississippi Ford Dealers. Welcome to the Mississippi Ford Dealers Halftime Show. Our score at the break, Michigan State 31, Mississippi State 24. Gabe Genovese back with you on our Mississippi Ford Dealers halftime show. Our halftime show brought to you by the Mid-South Ford Dealers and the Ford F-150. Like the Bulldogs, this truck is a strong tradition of greatness earned by outstanding capabilities and features like a mobile generator. That's how you create a legacy in the official truck of Mississippi State. Go dogs! And before we go any farther, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Station ID, this is Bulldog Basketball from Learfield. Again, State trails the Spartans 31-24 at the break in the first round of the NCAA tournament over in Charlotte. As we take a quick look at our out-of-town scoreboard, brought to you by the First Bank, just the bank for you. Only one other game going on right now across March Madness. The 11 seed Duquesne in the East leads the 6 seed BYU 17-13 with just under 10 minutes to go. In that first half, Duquesne won the A-10 to steal a bid and earned their spot in the NCAA tournament. BYU, of course, part of the Big 12 this year. They went 22-9, 10-8 in the Big 12. Again, they trailed Duquesne 17-13 with nine minutes to play in the first half. Later today, in the West region to go along with Mississippi State and Michigan State. Top seeded in North Carolina takes on Wagner. Wagner defeated Howard Tuesday in the first four in Dayton to earn their spot against the Tar Heels. The Tar Heels, of course, out of the ACC. The top seed in the ACC tournament fell to NC State in the ACC championship game, but a very talented North Carolina team that went 25-6, and 17-3 and in ACC play. I talked about the Tar Heels because if Mississippi State is able to come back and win this game against Michigan State, they will face the winner of that North Carolina and Wagner game on Saturday. Later today in Charlotte, seven seed Texas takes on 10 seed Colorado State in the Midwest. Colorado State defeated Virginia yesterday to earn their spot against Texas. And two seed Tennessee takes on 15 seed St. Peter's again. That's over in the Midwest region. Here's Rick Barnes on Dalton Connect's importance to the Tennessee offense. You know, we, we have different things that we do to try to get him going and, and um, make it hard for teams to just to sit uh, in one area waiting on him to think we try to move him around as much as we can. But he'll have to do a lot of that on his own. His team, he, he knows he's going to have to find different ways to score because uh, they could, uh, I would, uh, you know, we, we think that they should, could show us a lot of zone tomorrow and it could be some different things. I mean, at this time of year, you got to be prepared for everything. Again, that's Rick Barnes and the importance of Dalton Connect in that Tennessee offense. Dalton Connect up, up for National Player of the Year this year, of course. Again, Preview in a couple of games coming up later today, and also in the Midwest region, Creighton, the three seed, takes on the 14 seed Akron. That's a 12:30 tip off. Tip it off here in a little over 20 minutes, and then at one o'clock, two seed Arizona battles 15 seed Long Beach State. Again, that is a one o'clock tip tip off coming up here in a little under. And now our score at the break, 31-24. State trails Michigan State at the half. Our Ford Halftime Show continues next. You're listening to Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. My name is Teresa Barber. I was in the United States Navy, and I served overseas in the Middle East and Africa. Early on in my career, I had a commander that taught our suicide prevention training, and the very next day he took his own life. 90% of suicide attempts involving a gun are fatal. My way of continuing my service is to help protect my community by being a responsible gun owner and by storing firearms safely. Store all your guns securely. Help stop suicide. Brought to you by N Family Fire and the Ad Council. This message is for Karina, our mom who finished her high school diploma at age 28. Hi, Mom. It's Amethyst and Nicholas. Congratulations on getting your diploma. You worked so hard and have taught us so much. We We love love you. you. When you graduate, they graduate. 
Finish your high school diploma for you and for them. Visit finishyourdiploma.org to find free and supportive adult education centers near you. Brought to you by the Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. And here's Heather with the weather. Well, it's beautiful out there, sunny and 75, almost a little chilly in the shade. Now, let's get a read on the inside of your car. It is hot. You've only been parked a short time and it's already 99 degrees in there. Let's not leave children in the back seat while running errands. It only takes a few minutes for their body temperatures to rise. And that could be fatal. Cars get hot and fast and can be deadly. Never leave a child in a car. A message from NHTSA and the Ad Council. The possibility of lung cancer can be pretty scary, especially if you're one of approximately 8 million current or former smokers at high risk. That's why SaveByTheScan.org wants you to know that now there's a breakthrough low-dose CT scan that can detect lung cancer early, and it only takes 60 seconds. You stop smoking, now start screening. For an easy quiz to see if you're eligible, visit SaveByTheScan.org. It could save your life. SaveByTheScan.org is brought to you by the American Lung Association's Lung Force Initiative and the Ad Council. Time in Charlotte, nine seed Michigan State on top of eight seed Mississippi State, 31 24 at the break. Welcome back to our Ford halftime show brought to you by your Mississippi Ford dealers and the Ford F 150, the official truck of the Mississippi State Bulldogs as we take a look at some of the first half numbers of, of this one. Individually for Michigan State, they're, they're led by Walker, their point guard with 10 points and two assists. Tyson Walker controlled that first half for the Spartans. Jay Nakins able to knock down a couple of threes. He's got eight for Michigan State. Hoggard with five, Hall with four, Sissoko and Booker each with two for the Spartans. Meanwhile, for Mississippi State, it's been the Josh Hubbard Show. 13 points for the freshman on five of nine shooting, three of five from beyond the arc. Nobody else with more than five. Jeffries with five, Davis with two, Tolu Smith, excuse me, Jeffries with five, Davis with four, Tolu Smith with two. In that first half, another slow start for Tolu. Two points, no boards for Tolu Smith, who averages 15 points and over eight rebounds a game this season. We'll see if he can get going in the second half. Team numbers in that first half. Michigan State shoots at 54% from the field. Mississippi State just 40% from the floor. Five threes made by the Spartans, four threes made by the Bulldogs. And you heard Coach Williams mention it right before the end of the half. No free throws for either of these teams in the first half. Not a single free throw attempted. We had just four fouls called on each team in the first half. No shooting fouls. And nobody has a free throw attempt in the first 20 minutes. P points off turnovers, obviously always a big key in these games. 14 points off of turnovers for each of these teams in the first half. Mississippi State turned it over seven times. Spartans got 14 points. Spartans turned it over nine times. Mississippi State got 14 points off turnovers. State has been ha, has been out rebounded in that first half. Spartans out rebounded them 16 to 10 in the first 20 minutes, and no second chance points in the first 20 minutes for Chris Jans and company. Three offensive rebounds, no second chance points. Always a big key for the Bulldogs in in games, and they just haven't been able to crash the glass and earn any second chance opportunities in the first 20 minutes of play. Points in the paint, 14-10 in favor of the Spartans. Fast break points, 8-7 in favor of Michigan State as well. Spartans led throughout. They took a lead 57 seconds into the game, and they haven't relinquished it. Let's see if the Bulldogs can get a comeback in the second half. 31-24, Michigan State over Mississippi State at the half. We'll wrap up our Fort Halftime show next. You're listening to Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. Great game days start with a winning tailgate, the kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. Hey y'all, I'm Steve Azar inviting you to escape to Pearl River Resort where the fun is going non-stop. 
go off the deep end at the South's most exciting water park, Geyser Falls. After the thrills, test your skills at the Dancing Rabbit Golf Club. There's dining delight and love at first sight. And it's always no work and all play at Silver Star and Golden Moon Casinos. So come on, leave it all behind, and head to Pearl River Resort. C Spire team member Jerry here, and today I'm talking to Carl. I'm tired. I hardly get... You see, Carl suffers from spotty service, and it's frustrating because he has a hard time carrying on conversations. Would that be fair, Carl? Got to look at... That's why I'm excited to get Carl to try C Spire's blazing fast 5G network. Try this, Carl. Oh my goodness, I sound great! You're welcome, Carl. Right now, get the latest 5G phone on us. Only at Seaspire. Customer inspired. See Seaspire.com for details. 5G not available everywhere. Capable device required. This is professional ball player and former Mississippi State Bulldog, Jake Mangum. Mississippi is my home. I've been all over the state and seen just about all there is to see. As a native, joining Farm Bureau was a no-brainer. They're there when I need them, with competitive rates and exceptional customer service. If you aren't already on the team, it's time to join Farm Bureau. Visit favrates.com for great rates on home and auto insurance. Or find a local agent at msfbins.com. Farm Bureau Insurance. Go with the home team. If SEC football runs deep in your veins, then Sirius XM SEC Radio is what you need to listen to. We're talking conference and team previews, plus hear live games, news, and analysis from experts like Chris Doring, Aaron Murray, and Max Stark. Go in-depth with your favorite team with coaches' shows, championship specials, and more. Get inside SEC football like nowhere else. Need your fandom on the Sirius XM app. Stay up to date anywhere you go. Just download the app and start streaming. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Mississippi State University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of Mississippi State University and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Show your Bulldog pride and get a win for your wallet with the Mississippi State University Regions Visa Debit Card and prepaid Regions Now Card. Order now at Regions.com. Slash go state again. Mississippi State trails Michigan State 31 24 at the break of the very first game of the first round of the NCAA tournament in Charlotte. Gabe Genovese back with you on our Ford halftime show as we take a look around the top, or excuse me, we take a look. I was going to say top 25. That's just out of habit right there. We'll take a look at the rest of the bracket today as we give you a look at the out-of-town scoreboard brought to you by the First Bank, just the bank for you. Just one other game going on right now. 11 seed Duquesne leads 6 seed BYU in the East region 24 to 20, 540 to play in the first half. A couple games coming up in just a little bit. 3 seed Creighton plays 14 seed Akron over in the Midwest region. That game tips at 1230 here in about 15 minutes. And at 1 o'clock, 2 seed Arizona battles 15 seed Long Beach State. Again, that game gets going in a little over 40 minutes. That's your first four games of the day. The next four, North Carolina and Wagner, who we've already talked about. Mississippi State gets the winner of that game. In the East Region, three-seed Illinois battles 14-seed Moorhead State at 210. At 3 o'clock, six-seed South Carolina in the SEC takes on 11-seed Oregon. And at 3.30, 7-seed Dayton and 10-seed Nevada battle in the West Region. Again, our score at the break, 31-24. Michigan State tr leads Mississippi State. Thanks for listening to the Ford Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half. You're listening to Mississippi State Basketball from Learfield. Into the building for the first time after the shooting. It was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Pona, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies because feeling full can sound like this. How did the interview go? I did it. I got the job. I can't believe it. And like this. Mom. 
I got first place at the science fair with my volcano project. That's amazing, sweetie. Congratulations. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished, and everyone deserves to live a full life. Join the movement to end hunger at feedingamerica.org slash act now. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Hi, I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you out, because only you can prevent wildfires. Hey, Assistant Smokey Bear, call me Papa Bear, because I'm grilling up dinner. <laughs> do you get it? Yes, good job. So, what should I do with all these coals? Don't just toss them out. Put them in a metal container, because those embers can start a wildfire. I understand. The stakes are high. Ha, 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 ha. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Adopt US Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo GOAT G-O-A-T Acronym Stands for Greatest of All Time As in Spaghetti Sandwiches for Dinner They're my fave Dad You're the GOAT You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same Visit AdoptUSKids.org Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Adopt US Kids and the Ad Council Just ahead of the second half here at Spectrum Center in Charlotte with Michigan State leading Mississippi State 31-24. to Show your Bulldog pride and get a win for your wallet with the Mississippi State University Regions Visa debit card and prepaid Regions Now card. Order now at regions.com slash go state and ta- stay tuned after the game for the highlights, big plays, and a visit from David Anwar on the Regions Bank postgame show. 31-24, Michigan State in front as we get ready to start the second half. What's got to change for Mississippi State, Coach Williams, in the first four minutes of the second half? And, you know, offensively, they got to get a little better, obviously. We only had four guys scoring at first half. Tolu Smith and Jimmy Bell, between the two of them, only had three field goal attempts. You know, Coach, Coach Jans wants to play inside out, and your two post guys only have three attempts in the first half. That has to change. I think you have to guard Michigan State's three-point shooting a little bit better. State, Mississippi State... Holds their opponents to th- less than 30% on the year from the three-point line. First half, Michigan State has shot it at 39%. Yeah. That'll do it. It'll be Michigan State's ball to start the second half. They'll be moving right to left as we view it courtside here at Spectrum Center. Cam Matthews back out of there to start the second half for State after picking up two early fouls in the first half. That cost him a lot of time. D.J. Jeffries out there playing on a bum ankle right now that he rolled to some extent in the first half. Hubbard, Tolu, Smith, and Rams Davis for the Bulldogs. Michigan State has Hall, Hoggard, who will bring it up. Carson Cooper underneath, Akins, and Walker. Hoggard, high and wide right side to Akins. Now to Carson Cooper straight away. Back around to A.J. Hoggard on the left wing. Midway through the shot clock here to Walker at the top. Tyson Walker pulls up just inside the arc for a long two right wing and knocks it down. Tyson Walker, who led him in the first half with 10, now has 12. And with 25 seconds off the clock here in the second half, Michigan State has stretched its lead to nine at 33-24. Davis for Mississippi State to Cameron Matthews on the right wing. It's Tolu Smith straight away. Can't hand to Hubbard. Finds Davis instead left of the arc. In the corner left side, Jeffries catch and shoot. Three good for D.J. Jeffries. D.J. shooting well today, Neil. He is. Two out of, or three out of five now. Michigan State quickly up the floor. They get it underneath for Carson Cooper, and he gets fouled underneath. It's on Tolu Smith. It's number two on Tolu. And yeah, that's first what we talked about. Half. So that's what we talked about right there. What Michigan does, Michigan State does. Made field goal. Bam! Up the floor they are. Pitch it up the sideline. Right inside. Create a foul situation. So they get the ball. Left side of the baseline under their basket with AJ Hogger to throw it in. Loops it out to the top of the arc from Malik Hall, freshman from Aurora, Illinois. Hands off to A.J. Hoggard, right wing, back to Hall, the give and go. He goes up inside. His shot gets blocked, but he gets fouled. You know, the first half, Mississippi State was hedging, hard hedging the ball screens. The first possession of the second half, when Walker came off the uh, came off that ball screen, they didn't hedge. They were playing drop coverage, and he was wide open for that jump shot on that first possession. Foul is on Jimmy Bell, who had just checked in for Tolu Smith, who picked up his second. First on Jimmy, and on Mississippi State, that is number two in the half. The first free throw for Malik Hall is on its way and good. Hall's a good foul shooter, 72%. Here's a second for the right-hander, and that one is true. So Michigan State leads it by 8, 35-27. Nearly a minute gone here in the second half in Charlotte. 
State has never led today. Davis for the Bulldogs. Loops it to Jimmy Bell at the top of the circle, just inside the arc. Looking left side for Jeffries to Coach Williams' point. He shot it very well. Three out of five today. Jeffries to Matthews. Left of the circle out top. Underneath to Jimmy Bell. In between steps. Makes an off-balance catch. Backing his way into a double team. Tries to split it. Jump hook over Cooper is good. Bell with patience. And he gets rewarded with that one. He was very patient. Nearly waited for the double guy to leave before he made that jump hook. 35-29 Michigan State. Quickly they get the ball inside to Cooper. Low block right against Bell. Flips it back out to the top for Tyson Walker. Walker, one of the best point guards in the country. Flips it in the corner right side to A.J. Hogger. Slides up to the right wing. Underneath looking for Cooper. He didn't see it. Matthews did. Steals it for State. Ahead to Hubbard. Tried to finger roll it with a right hand. Blocked off the window by Jade Nakins. And Michigan State's got it going right to left. Hall steps through a double team. Tried to throw it to the top. Matthews gets a steal for the Bulldogs. And Josh Hubbard is down, lying face down under the basket, down to our right. And the officials will stop play now that Mississippi State has the ball back. And Chris Jans not happy as he stares down Edwin Young, who was right underneath the basket, thought Hubbard got fouled on that attack to the rim. They can't afford to lose Josh. He's the bulk of their offense, 13 points today. And he gets to his feet, but... Holding the bridge of his nose as Andrew Kegley, the Mississippi State trainer, helps him get back to the bench. Yeah, the shot was blocked. There's no question about that. He chased him down and blocked the shot, and there was contact after the shot. But many times they're not going to call that because the shot was blocked first, and then just, I guess they call it incidental contact. All right, so State has to make a change with Hubbard out for the time being. You can hear the State fans. They're looking at the replay overhead, booing because there was not a whistle for a foul. And to Coach Williams' point, what we saw in the replay, all the contact occurred after the block, but there was absolutely contact. Coach Jans just continues to pace in that maroon pullover in the coach's box directly across from us here at Spectrum Center. The state with it. Cam Matthews turns down the right lane line, flips it back out top to Rams Davis. Michigan State in a man-to-man. -man. Matthews, left wing now off a of bell screen, gets to the free throw line, goes between the legs, bounces to Jimmy, mid-post left, eight to shoot, backing his way in. Here comes the double team, bounces out to Moore, tried to take off down the left lane line and dribbled it off his left leg and out of bounds. So State turns it over, and Michigan State gets it back with 17.35 to go, leading the game 35-29. Again, Neil, I think it's too much dribbling by the Bulldog offense. Not enough ball movement. Their ball's not going side to side at all. State in a 1-3-1 on defense here. Michigan State throws over the top of that. In the corner to Tyson Walker. Chased out into the corner by Cameron Matthews, one of the wings in that zone. They get it to the high post. Hall spins, 15-footer, no. But the rebound track down the back line by Walker. To Hall down the left lane line, all the way to the rim for a right-hand layup. Boy, Hall's a nice player, Neil. Yep. Really good player. 37 to 29, Michigan State with 17.06 left. State lobs one into Jimmy Bell, low block left. And a hand checking foul is going to be called on Carson Cooper, the 6'11 center for the Spartans. Stops the clock with 17.06. It's Michigan State's first foul in the second half of the game. Well, they got Jimmy Bell posted really deep that time, Neil, and got the ball to him quickly before the defense was really set, and it created the foul situation. But with Michigan State, it doesn't really matter because they rotate like three guys at that position. Cooper exits, and Sissoko returns up front for the Spartans. Rams Davis to play it in, left side of the baseline for the Bulldogs. Inside to Hubbard, who's back out there. That's good to see. Around to Davis, right of the arc, drives into the lane, tried to flip it down low to Jimmy Bell. He got caught in between in midair and didn't know what to do with it, and he throws it away. Walker for Michigan State in transition. Drives left of the lane to Hoggard. Left wing, gets it into the right corner. Akins drives baseline for a 10-footer and knocks it down. Great ball move by Michigan State. One side to the other, created the closeout, beat the closeout. Again, they make the turnovers hurt. Davis, three right wing for Mississippi State. Off the heel, no good. And the long rebound taken by Akins. Jimmy Bell looked like he got held inside. Chris Jans thought so too, and he's letting Tim Clockerty have it as he goes down the floor. On the drive, it's Walker at the other end. Gets tripped up at the free throw line by Jimmy Bell. He's picked up his second foul in this half. And that State's third in the final 20 minutes. Stops the clock with 16.26 left in the game. And Michigan State leading by 10, 39-29. Well, Coach Jens and Tim Cloggerty are having a little conversation, Neil. I used to have conversations with Tim Cloggerty's dad. John. Back, John Cloggerty yeah. back when he was a referee. And he's a pretty good referee, too. 
Michigan State's ball. They've got a side out, the 28-foot line, right at the top of the Michigan State bench in front of Tom Izzo, who's led the Spartans to 26 consecutive NCAA tournaments. That is an NC2A record. Comes into Aikens at the top, starts a weave with Hoggard. Hoggard down the left lane line, kicks in the corner left side for Aikens. Jaden Aikens sends it out deep left rear for Tyson Walker on the Jerry West Award finalist list, one of five in the country. Left, hesitates to the baseline, pull up 10-footer, is good over Rams Davis. Well, he showed you why on that possession, why he's a finalist deal. Really good offense. He's got 14 in the game. 41-29, Michigan State has matched its biggest lead. Here's Hubbard, three, right of the circle. Off the left edge, no good, and no one underneath to rebound except green jerseys as Sissoko reels this one in with a right hand. On top for Michigan State, Walker down the left lane line, fades, 15-footer won't go. Challenged by Bell, and Jimmy Bell is going to pick up his third foul. State has committed four fouls inside of the first four and change here in the second half. Michigan State with its largest lead of the game, 41-29 over the Bulldogs with 15-43 left. On the court, your team's fueled by the fans. And Texaco knows off the court what fuels you matters. When you fill up your car with Texaco with Tecron, you get unbeatable mileage for whatever fuels you. To help take your game to the next level, trust your car to the star. 15-43 left in the game. Michigan State 41, Mississippi State 29. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Champions never give in. That's why Cadence Bank is the teammate to help you get the extra yardage you need to secure victory in your financial journey. Whether you're saving for a dream home, starting a business, or just need to tackle everyday life, we have the teammates, tools, and strategy to help you stay in the game. Dreams are in reach for those who never give up. Visit CadenceBank.com to learn more. That's CadenceBank.com. Your team, your cadence. Cadence Bank. Remember FDIC. Chevron with Tecron has unbeatable engine cleaning power, and it gives you unbeatable mileage for all kinds of unbeatable destinations, like time in the sun at the beach, or time in the sun riding roller coasters, or a day in the sun hiking mountains. Well, probably just one mountain would be enough for a day, but hiking a mountain is still an unbeatable choice for how to spend time. Download the Chevron app now to get unbeatable mileage at locations near you. Hey y'all, I'm Steve Azar inviting you to escape to Pearl River Resort where the fun is going non-stop. Go off the deep end at the South's most exciting water park, Geyser Falls. After the thrills, test your skills at the Dancing Rabbit Golf Club. There's dining delight and love at first sight. And it's always no work and all play at Silver Star and Golden Moon Casinos. So come on, leave it all behind and head to Pearl River Resort. Michigan State, the nine seed in the West region of the NC2A tournament, leads eight seed Mississippi State 41-29 here in Charlotte. Following the game, we'll replay the Bill Ford Tough Play of the Game, brought to you by your Mississippi Ford dealers and the F-150, the official truck of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Well, we knew Michigan State's guards were really good coming into this game. We thought State might have an advantage on the front line today with their size and their ability to rebound. But those guards now, the Spartans, starting to create some real issues with regard to foul trouble because Jimmy Bell and State switching defense has picked up three here in the second half. Yeah, that's – and Jimmy actually has played a little bit better offensively than, than Tolu. Tolu's only had, what, two shots, zero two rebounds. Shots. But they're, they're double teaming him. He's catching the ball too far off the paint. Jimmy's been able to get a little deeper post position, a little more patient in the post when he catches it sometimes than Tolu. But Tolu needs to get going this half, but they're double teaming the deal, and that makes it very, really tough for him. But the Michigan State guards are really good now. There's no question about that. We talked about their assists and all those kind of things, but this Hogart, or Hogart, Neil, he's one of the guys, he has 171 assists and 56 turnovers. That's an amazing stat. Walker at the foul line for Michigan State down to our left, and he knocks down the first. That's just the third free throw attempt of the game, and all three of them belong to Michigan State. Here's the second one. It's on the way for Walker, and that one's home. They're four out of four today. Walker continues to lead the way in the scoring column for Tom Izzo's team, picking up his... 15th and 16th points of this opening round or first round game I should say Hubbard leading state he's got it left way 
Inside to Cameron Matthews, turning against Malik Hall, dumps it underneath for Tolu, reverse two-hand lay-in, won't go, but he gets fouled. Tolu found a little space under the basket, and he'll get to the line for State's first free throw attempts of the day. When Cam Matthews driving across the lane, he was driving from left to right across the paint. Uh, Tolu's rule is to make sure he circles away from that drive, and he found an open space there, but that's another one of those plays right there I wish he'd have just turned and taken it up strong. Tolu Smith's first free throw, a line drive shot, front rim glass and off, no good. So Soko returns for Michigan State. Foul was on Carson Cooper. That's number two on him. Second free throw is good for Tolu. He makes one out of two. And it's a 43-29 game. Michigan State in front with 15-25 left. They throw over the top of a 2-2-1 two, 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 zone press from State. Now the Bulldogs jump into that 1-3-1 one, one again. Right of the lane, Hall fires a 10-footer. No good. And the rebound taken in the left corner by Rams Davis for State. Up to Hubbard, 28 feet away on the right side in front court. Between the rings, now attacks down the right lane line, drops it off for Cam, and he'll flush it with two hands. Well, great play by Josh Hubbard that time, Neil. Got inside the paint, drew all the defenders to him, made a good pass to Cam. Stay back within 13, and the Bulldogs 1-3-1, forces a turnover at the timeline. Davis throws it ahead to Hubbard for an easy right-hand lay-in. Defense turns into offense. State's back within nine, 43-34. And those in maroon and white behind the state bench across the way come to their feet trying to cheer on the Bulldogs. Aiken, left wing for Michigan State in green, attacking the hoop to our left. 14 and a half to go in this one. On top to A.J. Hogger. Sends it deep right of the circle to Jaden Aiken. Slides to the right wing, dumps it down low. Collected by Hall against the smaller Davis. Out top, Aikens crosses over on Matthews. Step back, 17-footer. Short no. And the rebound batted to Tolu Smith underneath for Mississippi State. Up to Hubbard, 28 feet away, left side to Matthews. Down the lane, got a screen from Smith. Tried to fire it in with the right hand, but fouled before he got the shot away. The Michigan State foul is on Jaden Aikens. Well, Cam is obviously, of course, he picked up those two early fouls. You know, he wasn't much of a factor in the first half, and he's being much more aggressive in the second half, and we need that from Cameron Matthews. First foul on Jaden Akins, and it's number three on Michigan State here in the second half. A baseline out of bounds for the Bulldogs at the hoop to our right with Hubbard to play it in right in front of the state cheerleaders. Gets it into Tolu Smith, 10 feet away on the right baseline. Out to Davis, fakes the three, leaves it with Cam Matthews to top, right back to Davis, right wing. Slides down into the corner. It's Matthews, right wing, driving, lost the handle, and loses that one into the cheerleaders and out of bounds. Uh, sometimes Cam will tend to over-dribble. He was trying to get a lane to the basket that time, put it on the floor going hard, but just had ran out of room. That's the 10th straight turnover today. Michigan State throws it into Hoggard. They've got a lob on and backdoor Hall elevates and detonates. They only had one back, and Michigan State took advantage by moving the ball, as Coach Williams said, through the air and beating the press. Davis down the right lane line for the Bulldogs. To Moore in the right corner, 45-34 Michigan State. Shaq bounces inside to Tolu, had a good seal, and he gets held in front of the basket. A Michigan State foul on Sissoko, number two on him, and that's number four on the Spartans in this half. Yeah, that's one of the few times Tolu's had really good post position, Neil, and had his defender sealed on the top side, and uh, Shaq Moore saw that, made a good baseline bounce pass, created the foul situation. But again, Michigan State just brings in their third big. Yep. They've rotated three guys along that front line today. Jackson Kohler, one of them, he's in. State gets it in for the baseline to Moore. A three right wing is good for Shaquille Moore. First points for him today. 45-37 Michigan State, 13 and a half to play here in Charlotte. A.J. Hoggard between the rings, goes left off a high screen from Kohler. He'll use another to free him to the elbow right side. Now he attacks down the lane on Bell and lays it in with a right hand. The physicality with that guard that time, Neil, shot it over Jimmy Bell. Hoggard's got seven in the game, 47-37. Michigan State by 10. Matthews at the top for Mississippi State in gray, attacking the hoop to our right, stop and go dribble on Hall. Hooked a pass left corner to Jones, got fouled on that pass. Terry Oglesby spotting that foul underneath. And Mississippi State will get it back. Trey Holloman commits the foul for Michigan State. Number two on him. And that'll be the fifth on the Spartans in the second half. Tim Clockerty will hand the ball to Josh Hubbard, who plays in from the left baseline. It's a return pass from Moore. A three left side fading away. No good. Missed iron. Rebounded by Jones. Back to Hubbard. Down low to Matthews. And he'll stuff it. 
another nice pass to Josh Hubbard to Cam Matthews created that dunk. Cam's getting some easy looks here with some great passes from his teammates. Three flushes for him. Michigan State's got it with an eight-point lead, 47-39. Still a lot of time, 12-39 to go on this ticking second-half clock. Out front, Holloman for the Spartans. Bounces it low block right. They get it underneath to Kohler, and Kohler able to hook it in with the right hand. So another high percentage look for Michigan State. Bulldogs hustle left to right into front court. Moore being chased by two Spartans left of the lane. Out top to Matthews. Quick high-low entry to Bell. He gets held on the low block right. And another foul coming on Michigan State. This one on Jackson Kohler. That's his first in Michigan State. Six. Tom Izzo not happy as he directs his frustration at Edwin Young. And Mississippi State only needs to draw one more foul from the Spartans to get into the bonus with 12-17 left of the game. Bell exits for State. Tolu Smith is back on the front line for Chris Jan's team. Baseline out of bounds on the right side of the end line. Comes into Tolu. It was deflected. Loose. Tolu dives for it at the free throw line. Saves it to Jones. Drives baseline left side. Dribbles the ball off his right leg and out of bounds. So another turnover for Mississippi State. Michigan State gets it back with 12-10 to play, leading by 10-49-39. Keyshawn Murphy checks in for the first time in the second half. He'll replace Cam Matthews. Keyshawn got a lot of run in the first half when Cam got into foul trouble at that four spot. State in the 1-3-1, really extending it to the top of the arc to our right. Akins knives across the line, left to right for the Spartans. Now to Walker, standing just outside the jump circle in the offensive half. To the top of the arc for Hall. Turns into the free throw line. Jones picks his pocket. Long lead pass ahead to Shaquille Moore, and he'll elevate and detonate with two hands. Well, the Bulldog press has caused Michigan State some issues down there. They've turned it over a couple of times. State's been able to convert. Again, State's back within eight. Cam Matthews' mother leading the charge. The State fans over there trying to get them back into this thing, too, with 11.37 to go. For Michigan State, deep right side in front court, it's Trey Holloman. Loops it cross court to Walker outside the three-point line. Chased out to the timeline by Sean Jones. Kohler waiting to screen for the guard. He does. Frees him to the left. Walker down the left lane line. Kicks it into the right corner. Holloman steps inside the arc, and his 17-footer spins in. Boy, Walker's good, Neil. He is really good. Good at finding the open guy. 51-44, Michigan State with the answer to push it back to 10 with 11.09 and counting here in the second half. Tolu Smith, left baseline, goes in on Kohler, just muscles him out of the way and banks it in with a right hand. Yeah, no double team that time, and Tolu took advantage of it. Spartans in a hurry, right to left, but State back in waiting. Now Aikens beats Jones off the bounce. He flies through the air and slams it with two hands. Faked right, drove left. Jones with a step slow, and it was all over from there. Mississippi State gets it into front court. They get it down low to Tolu and a foul on Kohler, who's having a hard time with State's big man. Second on Kohler. That is a seventh on Michigan State, and it'll bring us to a timeout with 10.45 to go in the game. Michigan State 53, Mississippi State 43. Bulldogs will be at the free throw line when play resumes. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. What is dedication? My biggest fear in the middle of my addiction was that my kids wouldn't have a father. And I started thinking, you know what? This isn't my story. I definitely had to become a better man to be a better father. It's important to me that my kids are empowered and truly believe that if, if they can think it, they can do it. That's dedication. Visit fatherhood.gov to hear more. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. This is your captain. We are going to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please fasten your... Oh, hold on. Just got a video of my cat. Imagine the pilot of an airplane was as confident as you are texting and driving. Seems kind of crazy when you put it like that. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council into the building for the first time after the shooting. It was crippling, but it had to be preserved. In response to the Pulse nightclub shooting that affected the LGBTQ community, Barbara Pona, owner of Pulse, founded the One Pulse Foundation to honor Pulse victims and survivors. If you're an ally of this community, speak out. There are more of us together than apart. It is the power of love in its rawest form. Join the fight for LGBTQ acceptance. Learn how at lovehasnolabels.com. Brought to you by Love Has No Labels and the Ad Council. Ten 
45 left in the game. Michigan State leads by 10, 53-43 over Mississippi State here in Charlotte. Some good news, though, Coach Williams. The Bulldogs have been able to get to the bonus here with 10.45 left. Now, they got to make free throws, but this is something you and I talked about coming into the game. We thought if Mississippi State could get more volume at the foul line, it would be significant because Michigan State doesn't score a ton of points there, just 12 points per game at the line. State's a team that gets there a lot or has shown an ability to, and now they're in a pretty good spot here if they take advantage of the bonus. Yeah, if they can take advantage of the bonus, now they are in a good spot, but it's hard to catch up when you're playing from behind. Now, it's hard to catch up when your opponents are shooting 75% in the second half. That's true. And that's what Michigan State's shooting right now. Now, Mississippi State's shooting well, too, 67%. But when your opponent's at 75%, it's hard to cut into that lead. Well, we talked about guards for the Spartans being scorers, but you've mentioned it a few times when, especially when Walker's made some plays today, they are just so good at finding it. They see the floor very well, don't they? They're experienced players. They know where everybody is on the floor. They look for each other, and they share the ball, and they're just excellent passers. All right, so Tolu Smith is at the line for State. One out of two there. He owns the Bulldogs' only free throw attempts. He misses the front end here. Too strong. And the rebound taken by Matty Sissoko for Michigan State. Mississippi State quickly into a 2-2-1 zone press. Slows the Spartans down. Holloman gets it across the line. Kicks left corner. Catch and shoot three for Xavier Booker is on target. Michigan State continues to shoot it very well here in the second half. And they've stretched the lead to 13. Their biggest today, 56-43. Moore down the right lane line for State. Flipped it over the top of the rim. No. Rebound tapped out to Jones at the free throw line. Back inside to Tolu Smith. Out to Murphy. Drives, finds Tolu on the pick and roll. And he'll slam it with two hands. Well, that's a couple of nice plays Keyshawn Murphy's made. Finding an open man when he drives it into the paint. State back into that 2-2-1 press. Sean Jones commits a foul at the top of it. Trying to slow down Trey Holloman. And Sean Jones will pick up his first and Mississippi State's fifth in the second half. Stops the clock with 10.01 to go. 56-45 Michigan State. Spartans have not trailed today. They've led by as many as 14 points. Holloman. High and wide right side against Shaquille Moore. To Booker, he has hit one. He fires one from the top. That one's off the left edge. No good. And the rebound taken by Sean Jones underneath for Mississippi State. Up to Murphy in the right corner in front court. Murphy off a Tolu Smith screen. Will spot for three right wing. Halfway down and out. And the rebound collected on the baseline by Tawson Tyson Walker. Throws it ahead to Akins. Back to Walker at the top of the arc. In the corner left side. A three on the way. That one missed badly. Weak side rebound to Booker. Booker in the paint, spinning right, goes under the goal, left hand lay in, no good. Sissoko grabs a rebound with two hands, fires it out front, Holloman, and he knocks down the triple. But that's three offensive rebounds. Three offense. Sissoko just wanted that but worse than anybody else on the floor, Neil. He just overpowered the Bulldog players. Chris Jan's not happy with that at all, and he'll take a timeout here with 9-13 left in Michigan State, leading 59-45 over the Bulldogs in Charlotte. A timeout on the floor. We'll take it to 9-13 to go in the game. 59-45. Well, nope. Actually, we're going to stay right here. Let's make sure they're going to take the timeout. They are. We'll take it to 9-13 to go in the game. 59-45. Michigan State in front of Mississippi State. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Do you hear cowbells in your sleep? See bulldogs in the clouds? Never wear red and blue together? If so, there's no better way to show your Bulldog pride than with the Mississippi State University Regents Visa Debit Card and Prepaid Regents Now Card. As passionate as you are about the Bulldogs, Regents is even more passionate about celebrating your every financial win and helping you plan for the next one. To order your card, visit regents.com slash go state. Regents, official bank of the SEC, member FDIC. Terms, conditions, and fees apply. We're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever? That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, <sighs> best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Great game days start with a winning tailgate, the kind that includes a Ford F-150 truck. With available features like Pro Power Onboard, F-150 works like a mobile generator. So plug in your TV, your speakers, your blender, and fire up that grill. Because with Ford F-150, greatness starts here. 
Check out F-150, official truck of the Bulldogs, at your Mississippi Ford dealer. See owner's manual for important operating instructions. left in the game. Michigan State in front 59-45 over Mississippi State. Bulldogs back in the NC2A tournament for a second straight year. First time that's happened since 2008 and 2009. In eight, State advanced to the round of 32 before it lost to top-seeded Memphis. 2009, the Bulldogs bowed out in the opening round when they lost to number four seed Washington as a 13. First time State has been an eight or a nine since 2008 when it beat Oregon in the opening round of the tournament. Some work to do if you're going to beat Michigan State, though. Down 14 here, and what's missing right now, Coach Williams? Well, Michigan State's offense is just better than our defense right now. It is what it looks like to me because our offense this half has been pretty yeah. good. We've created some turnovers, converted those turnovers, but our defense just not, hasn't been good enough to stop Michigan State's offense. State's on offense here, side out as it comes into Matthews. Matthews, Moore, Smith, Hubbard, and Jones for the Bulldogs. Matthews at the free throw line between the legs. Bounced it off a couple of those legs, bobbled it, gets it back. Hands to Jones, not to Hubbard at the top, really being harassed by A.J. Hogger. Ten to shoot. Hubbard kicks right corner. Matthews drives into the paint. A pump fake puts it up. Had it blocked back at him by Xavier Booker. And Sissoko comes up with it for Michigan State. To A.J. Hogger. Nobody sees him coming. Drives down the lane. Lost the ball. Gets it back. And a foul on Mississippi State. It's going to go on Cameron Matthews. Excuse me. It's going to go on Sean Jones. Five, not four. His second. And that is State sixth in the half. Non-shooting foul. So Michigan State will have it on the right side of the baseline under the Spartan basket with 22 on the timer. Hoggard loops it in to Xavier Booker on the right way. Gives it back to Hoggard. Deep right rear. Shot clock down to 15 as he squares the floor. Drives at Cam Matthews. Spins right around Cam who swipes down trying to steal the ball and fouls it. Yeah, it, it appears that the Michigan State guards, especially Howard and Walker, both been able to just get to the rim whenever they want to with that reverse dribble or crossover dribbles or just fake one way and go to put it on the floor and they're gone. And Coach Jan's talking about they're downhill drivers. When they get ready to go downhill, they go downhill. Well, and, you know, he said to me in the pregame today, as Hoggard had to the line to shoot two, here's his first, and that one misses off the right edge, no good. Matthews picks up his third foul, by the way, for State. That's a seventh on the Bulldogs in the second half told me they drive downhill as well as anyone Mississippi State has played this season. Second free throw for Hoggard is good, and my first thought was those three guards at Texas A&M drive it downhill pretty good, but I think these two guys today would give them a run for their they're money. Pretty, yeah, they're, they're close. 8.27 left in the half. Michigan State with its biggest lead at 15, 60-45. to 45. Sean Jones left wing. In the corner to Shaq Moore on that side. Back out top to Sean. Goes between the legs, driving on Hoggard, gets to the elbow, left wing to Moore, fires a three, off the right edge, no, Matthews with the rebound, his right hand stick back won't go from point blank range, and the rebound tipped out to Walker for Michigan State. Spartans quickly into the offensive half as we move inside, eight minutes to go in the game, 60-45, to 45, Michigan State leads it. Walker pounding the right hand dribble, it's the 2-3 zone. Kicks it to the left wing. For Jaden Akins to Walker to Hoggard at the foul line. Right corner Booker, a three, short, no good. Rebound taken by Hubbard with steam in his stride. Left to right to the rim, left hand lay-in, won't go. Rebounded by Moore and a foul on Michigan State. I think Josh thought it was going to get blocked if he shot it with his right hand, so he switched over to his left hand. They'll just missed it, but Shaq Moore was hustling down the forwards right there to follow it up and get, draw the foul. Hoggard's first foul. And it's number eight on Michigan State in this second half. And we have a timeout with 7.38 to go in the game. Michigan State 60, Mississippi State 45. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. I'm Chris Jackamick. I served in the United States Air Force, and I deployed three times. So in 2017, I was serving as an Air Force first sergeant. Our motto in that role is my job is people, everyone is my business. But unfortunately, in that year, I would lose my own brother, Lance Corporal Adam Jackamick, to suicide. The majority of veteran suicides are from guns. I store my weapons securely, not only for myself, but for my family. Store all your guns securely. Help stop suicide. My service never stops. Brought to you by N Family Fire and the Ad Council. Babes, what are you doing? What? I'm just mowing the lawn. No, it's blazing hot and dry out here. Don't you remember? 
Smokey Bear says, Avoid using power equipment when it's windy or dry. Where'd you learn this? Oh, it's on SmokeyBear.com with many other wildfire prevention tips. Right. Thanks, honey bear. Because remember, only you can prevent wildfires. Brought to you by the USDA Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Mario fue pintor más de 30 años. Cuando me dijo que se le estaban olvidando las cosas, fue difícil. Un día me dijo, me dijeron que pintara el marco del lado por dentro y pinté el lado de afuera. Yo le di a la gente que le diga a su familia lo que está pasando con él. Si algo se nota diferente, podría ser Alzheimer. Es momento de hablarlo. Visita alz.org diagonal nuestras historias para saber más. Un mensaje de The Alzheimer's Association y The Ad Council. Seven thirty-eight left in the game. Michigan State in front, sixty to forty-five. It's the biggest lead for the Spartans in the game today. They have never trailed in this one. State just had a hard time stopping what has been a very efficient Michigan State offense. Fifty-seven percent for the game, sixty-one percent in the second half. 11 of 18, and they've taken 18 threes overall today, Coach Williams, but they've really cut that number down here in the second half. Just five of them because they're getting a lot of really good looks inside the arc and some right at the rim. Yeah, they're just driving the ball to the basket, Neil, and, and their guards are so good dri driving the ball to the basket. And they also are good at the mid-range jump shot. You don't see a lot of teams doing that anymore with the analytics as they are. But these Michigan State guards will take that mid-range jump shot also, but their guards have controlled this game. Yeah. They, they've really... Uh, Hoggart and, and Walker both really, really good. And this freshman they just brought in, this Xavier Booker, he's out there shooting three-point shots, he's blocking shots. He's a 6'11 freshman, and he's pretty good. Yeah. But he's one of the three they play at that spot. Well, and, and while they haven't maybe had that consistent guy, we talked about that, that consistent five guy this year, they've got some young guys that lead you to believe they're going to have that guy be in the next year or two. They're certainly talented enough. Yeah. Jack Moore at the line for State here as play resumes for a one-and-one, and, one and he missed the front end. Hubbard trying to track the rebound. Michigan State trying to save it in, and Sissoko gets to it, but not before he falls into the state bench and out of bounds. So the Bulldogs get it back with 20 to shoot. 7.35 left. There is time, but State's going to have to start making some shots, and they've really got to tighten up on the defensive end. Bulldogs with an awkward corner inbound here on the baseline over near the corner on the left side. Hubbard plays it into Moore. Catches in the corner, but doesn't have a shot. Now they send it out top to Murphy. Murphy driving left of the lane. He's used his dribble. Hands it off to Moore. Left wing. He turns downhill. Leaves it with Matthews. Goes up for a right-hand bank shot and scores. Nice drive by Shaq Moore that time. Cam Matthews has had some baskets because the guards have been able to penetrate a little bit in the second half. 60-47. to 47. State's back within 13. 7-13 and counting here in the second half. State in the 2-3 zone. Down top, it's Hogger. Left wing, catch and shoot three. Aikens off the right edge. No, Murphy had the rebound, but had his pocket picked by Tyson Walker. Michigan State gets another possession. They kick it left corner. Aikens for three, and he knocks it down. That's the second time I know in the last few possessions they've, they've come up with a loose ball, offensive rebound, pitched it out for an open three-pointer. 63-47. Tolu Smith takes a post-entry bounce pass left of the lane, backing his way in on Sissoko. Here comes the double team, and Aikens comes across and fouls. Trying to sneak in for a steal at that top-down double. And Tolu Smith's going to go to the free-throw line with 6.44 left. Well, Tolu's had to really work hard, Neil, for every catch today. The, the Michigan State bigs have made it very, very difficult for him to catch the ball in positions he likes to get it. So Soko exits, and Carson Cooper checks back in up front for Michigan State. It's their ninth foul. Here's Tolu with the front end of the one-and-one, and, one, and that one rattles in. Tolu Smith with eight points today. And now two out of four at the foul line in this game. One more for the graduate student from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. On the way. And that one's good. Swish that one. Nine for Tolu. 63-49. Er, Michigan State, 644 left. Spartans will have Hoggard bring it up here against Cameron Matthews. Bulldogs in the 1-3-1. Right wing to Walker. Tyson Walker jumps a pass to Hoggard. Deep right rear. Midway through the shot clock. 
Back to Walker in the right corner. Leveled off down there by the taller Keyshawn Murphy. Around the arc, right to left, and finally to the baseline for Carson Cooper. Cross court, right corner to Walker. To Akins at the left elbow. Drives in against Tolu. Puts it up with the right hand. Tolu alters the shot. Can't get the rebound, though. Cooper does. Saves it in right corner. A three at the buzzer out of the right corner is an air ball from Walker. And State's defense forces a shot clock violation with 6-12 to go. That's pretty good movement that time by the Bulldogs' zone defense. Out the Michigan State, of course, the zone had to be moved because Michigan State had excellent yep. ball movement against the zone. They put a good ball handler at the high post is what they're doing. It's not a traditional post player. Their post players run into baseline. Mississippi State with the ball here, looking to cut into a 63-49 lead for the Spartans. Six to play. Moore, right wing, pounding the left-hand dribble. Slides to the top of the arc, looking to play pick and roll with Tolu. He can. He finds Cam Matthews, low block left. Hard bounce pass into Tolu off his chest. He reels it in on the baseline, spinning, throws it across the lane. He had Murphy and Matthews, same spot. Deflected out to Moore for a three. Right corner, no good. And Akins with the rebound, left of the lane for Michigan State. Too much traffic around Tolu that time when he got the ball. Too many Mississippi State players cut into the lane, bringing their defenders down there to help on Tolu. Bulldogs in a 2-3 zone as Tyson Walker brings it through the jump circle for Michigan State. Going to work on the clock here with 5.25 left in a 63-49 lead. In the corner to Akins, right side. A jab step, finds Hall, right of the lane, pulls up, 15-footer from the elbow, off the left edge, no. And Shaquille Moore with the rebound for Mississippi State. Up the left side into front court, crossing over against Akins. Feeds Tolu Smith with a bounce pass, low block left. Backing his way in on Malik Hall. Here comes the double team, spins away to the baseline, throws it for Murphy down the lane, past him and into backcourt. Keyshawn will track it down, pick up the ball, and State will turn it over for the 13th time today. Yeah, Tolu that time just, I don't know what he was trying to do. Well, I know he's trying to get the ball out to an open player, but that the players weren't in position to receive the pass. They were hiding behind defenders. Murphy and Moore exit for Mississippi State. Sean Jones is in for the Bulldogs along with Rams Davis. Five minutes to go, and Michigan State with a side out of bounds. They get it in the right corner. Walker, catch and shoot three, bingo. 66-49, Walker did you, again. Do you notice how they flashed a guard into the high post area? Hoggart, who's a great assist man. Davis, right wing for Mississippi State. Hands to Hubbard at the top. Walker comes up to Hedge, and he fouls Cameron Matthews. He'll put him at the line with 443 left in the game, and Michigan State leading it 66-49. to and Neil, to your point earlier about the young post players of Michigan State, has Cooper, the post players in there now, who started the game, 6'11", 240, sophomore. Yeah. So even though they're, they're not their main players this year, they have a chance to be really good. Here's Matthews free throw in the front end of the one and one. Or excuse me, first of two. That's the 10th Michigan State foul. That one goes for Matthews. Cooper kind of stuck in the starting lineup during the Big Ten tournament in two games there for Michigan State and drew the start today in the NC2A tournament. Matthews' second free throw off the heel, though. And the rebound taken by Malik Hall. The Hoggard State chasing him with two. He takes advantage by throwing it up the left side to Akins, and they break the press. Around the arc, left to right to Tyson Walker. Now to Hoggard in the jump circle. To the high post to Hall. Spinning left into the paint. Matthews there with the help defense, and he gets a steal. Two on one for State. Hubbard goes up. Hoggard with great hands. Takes it away from Hubbard and knocks it out of bounds. And Mississippi State gets it back with 422 to go in the game. Trailing by 16, 66 thought, to 50. I would have thought that would be a lob back to Cam Matthews that time. I think Cam gave it up early to Josh. Had the two on one, and I think he was expecting a lob back for the dunk. So it'll be Rams Davis to play it in on the left side of the baseline in front of the state cheerleaders. The basket down to our right. Davis looking. Loops it to Tolu Smith, top of the circle, just inside the three-point line. Hands off Hubbard, three behind a ball screen, straight on, off the heel, no. Rebound batted by Tolu, picked up by Sean Jones. Doesn't have a shot underneath, out to Davis. Three left wing, left rim, right rim and off. Rebounded by Matthews, two-hand bank shot won't go, but he gets fouled. Neil, I'm guessing that the whatever the injury was that uh, DJ has, I don't know if it was an ankle or a hip, they had some sort of... Uh, contraption on his hip I noticed at a timeout in front of, but it must be bothering because he hasn't been in the game in quite a while and he was really playing well he was today Hoggard picks up the foul that is his second and Michigan State over the limit Cameron Matthews will shoot two at the line to our right Cam one or two at the free throw line in the game first here good for Matthews 66-51 Michigan State Xavier Booker returns for the Spartans and he'll replace Malik Hall yeah, if you missed it, D.J. Jeffries 
trying to reel in a loose ball in the first half, and he took a tumble and never was quite the same after. Here's Matthews second. Front rim, glass and off. Rebound batted out of there by Booker, and it goes out of bounds into the photographers. Back to Mississippi State with 4.05 to go. Boy, and Hogrick just got in Cooper's face for not securing that rebound. I mean, he went right up to him and got in his face. So it'll be Mississippi State's ball with Davis to play it in on the left side of the baseline. Booker and Matthews battling for position on the low block left. And Edwin Young's going to step in between them. Didn't like where that was headed. Now he'll hand the ball to Davis. He'll play it in. Davis looking. Michigan State's really bottled up the paint. Out to Moore. Left corner. Probes the baseline into a double team to Matthews. Left wing. Gets it to Tolu at the free throw line. Turns it on Cooper. Left hand bank shot. No good. Rebounded by Matthews. Out to Hubbard. A three at the top. Bouncing high. Off the top of the backboard. Then off the shot clock and out of bounds. And it'll be Michigan State's ball after the final media break of the game. 3.49 to go here in Charlotte. Michigan State leads Mississippi State 66-51. to This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. Thanks for calling Toyota. This is Jan. Hi, Jan. My kids are really excited about spring break, so I'm looking for a new Toyota to help make it amazing. Well, now until April 1st is the perfect time for an exciting new Toyota. Just imagine you and the kids in a tundra on your way to the lake to go speed boating. Or imagine taking a Grand Highlander to the mountains for some spring skiing. Hi, yahoo! Or maybe driving a Camry to a towering water slide. Ah, I'm doing it! Or even taking a RAV4. Oh, to an animal sanctuary to pick goats. <laughs> Hmm, sounds like your kids aren't the only ones excited about spring break. Oh, what makes you think that? Right now, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 36 months on a rugged new 2024 Tundra. Dealer inventory may vary. See your participating Toyota dealer for details. Offer ends April 1st and is available in select states. Toyota, let's go places. Hey, y'all, I'm Steve Azar inviting you to escape to Pearl River Resort where the fun is going nonstop. Go off the deep end at the South's most exciting water park, Geyser Falls. After the thrills, test your skills at the Dancing Rabbit Golf Club. There's dining delight and love at first sight. And it's always no work and all play at Silver Star and Golden Moon Casinos. So come on, leave it all behind and head to Pearl River Resort. Hey, it's me, Gus the Gopher for Atlas Energy. I dig all around the yard. Occasionally, I bump into a utility line and get a headache. But if you hit one with your shovel, backhoe, or ditch digger, you could cause a gas leak, disrupt service, or worse. So call 811 at least three business days before you or someone else digs in your yard to have those underground utility-owned lines marked. It's free, and it's the law. You dig what I'm saying? For more on safe digging, visit atmosenergy.com slash 811. Three forty-nine left in the game. Michigan State in front, 66-51. Winner of this one faces North Carolina or Wagner on Saturday at a time still to be determined. Michigan State well on its way, though, it looks like here. They have never trailed today. They took advantage of some state turnovers very early in the game to build a double-digit lead. They have led today by as many as 17. Right now their lead is 15, and... You can kind of see it a little bit on the face of the Mississippi State players now. Reality starting to set in that the season is likely going to conclude here today in Charlotte. But you have to tip your cap, too. Michigan State, to your point, better offensive team today than State was a defensive team, and they have made all the plays when they have had to make them. They, I thought they set the tone the first three or four minutes of the game, Neil. They, they really came out playing aggressively on the defensive end. They were moving. They're not, not giving Mississippi State any open shots, not letting Tolu Smith get the ball in the post. They set the tone early. And again, this is a team that was ranked as high as number four early in the season in the polls, and they played like a highly rated team today despite the fact they were 19 and 14 and 10 and 10 in the Big Ten this year. They've broken the state press. Hoggard's got it out front. Three and a half to go. Shot clock's down to 10. Again, they're not in a big hurry here, just bleeding the clock with a 66-51 edge. Hoggard. Drives off the screen down the right lane line. Pitches right corner. Walker, he'll launch a three. That one's too strong, but the long rebound pulled in by Sissoko over in the left corner for Michigan State. 
So they get a reset to 20, and they go to work on the shot clock again. This will take them down near three minutes if they want to. Hoggard drives, goes up against Matthews, who got a piece of it for Mississippi State. And Hubbard comes away with a loose ball to Davis, tried to throw it ahead to Moore, and throws it right to Walker, who was trailing and stepped in front of Shaq to get the steal for Michigan State. So again, they go to work on the clock with 2.53 to go, leading the game 66-51. Walker pounding that left-hand dribble. Rams Davis standing in front for Mississippi State. Tolu comes out now trying to force the action off a hard hedge. Sissoko screens. Here's a pick and roll inside. They lob for Akins. He missed the right-hand jam. And Mississippi State gets the rebound. Davis left wing in front court for the Bulldogs. To Cam Matthews at the top. Pitches back Hubbard. Catch and shoot three off the right edge. No good. Rebound tracked by Matthews over in the right corner. 220 and counting. Michigan State leading 66-51. Shaq Moore, three, right of the circle, no good. Rebound tipped off of the window by Xavier Booker and reeled in by Maddie Sissoko for the Spartans. 210 to go, and you hear the Michigan State fans come to their feet, sensing now they're on their way to the second round. Walker is pounding the left-hand dribble in the offensive half of the jump circle. Inside two minutes to go now. The shot clock down to eight. Sliding high and wide left side. Comes back right off of Sissoko screen. Against Shaquille Moore. Gets to the elbow left side. Fires a 15-footer. No good. Long rebound. Tracked down by Akers. Just good hustle by these Michigan State guards to grab these long rebounds. 1.40 to go as the shot clock resets to 20. Hoggard between the rings. Drives around Davis down the left lane line. Tried to scoop a pass to Booker and it hits him in the hands. It goes out of bounds. And Hoggard looking at Booker like, how did you not carry, how did you not catch that one? Well, I, I can see why Hoggard has so many assists, Neil. He sees everybody on the floor. He knows where all of his teammates are. And when he's penetrating, he's looking for teammates. Now, he's a good shooter. He can score. He's, he's a double-figure scorer for Michigan State, but he really is a good passer. He's got eight assists today. He had ten against Purdue in a two-point loss in the Big Ten tournament. Hubbard pull up three at the top. That one front rim glassing off. And the rebound taken by Aikens for Michigan State. Well, Josh has really struggled with his shot in the second half, yep. Neil. He was State's offense for the most part in the first half today, but it hasn't carried over. Still the only double-figure score for the Bulldogs today. Yep. Hoggard with it. Driving around two Bulldogs to the rim. Put it up. Blocked by Cameron Matthews. Picked out of the air by Sean Jones for State. Final minute of the game. Throws it ahead to Moore. Driving right of the lane. Spins. Kicks left corner. Looking for Hubbard. Throws it off his left hand and out of bounds. Josh leaping in the air trying to reel that one in. He was further down toward the baseline in that corner. The pass was more up toward the wing. And... Chris Chan's going to get some guys in who don't get a ton of playing time here to let them get into the NCAA tournament, including, including Isaac Stansberry. Final game for him as a Bulldog today. Adrian Myers will check in, and Guy Choll as well. Trey Fort is going to check into the game, too. Final game for Tolu Smith in a Mississippi State uniform. Jeffries, too. Two graduate guys. Michigan State makes a change as Hoggard comes out of the game, replaced by Tom Izzo's son, Steven, who is also a graduate student. He'll play it in. Davis Smith, son of Steve Smith, really good player in his day, brings it across the line. Guy who walked onto this team a couple of years ago. 46 seconds left. Right wing, Cohen Carr, the great athlete who missed a couple of lob attempts in the first half. Back to Smith between the circles. Shot clock down to 10. Smith pulls up, 15-footer left of the lane. That's an air ball. Carr saves it in, and Izzo will win the hustle battle to it at the top. Around to Smith, left of the circle. He's still got time on the shot clock. He launches a 28-footer and knocks it down. A 28-footer with zero rotation. 69-51 Michigan State. Murphy with it for Mississippi State. Driving left of the lane. Spins to his right. Fires over the top of Kohler. That one. Rebound tipped out to Hill. And all Michigan State is sitting across the line. Do that. And the Spartans are going to move on. Carolina or Wagner on Saturday in the second round of the NC2A tournament. A wire-to-wire -wire win for Michigan State as the nine seed eliminates Mississippi State here in the first round. And Charlotte, final score, Michigan State 6, B State 51. The Regents Bank postgame show is coming up next. This is Mississippi State basketball from Learfield. 
great if life came with a remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh-oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. When might you be buzzed when you suddenly love everything? You guys! 